So I don't know if that was as, uh, <laughs> as garbled for everybody else as it was for me. Did it stream for you guys, or was that just not well? Not well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, I appreciate Arturo making those for us, but I don't know if we can use them on a regular basis. I don't know if that's my computer issue, my internet issue, StreamYard's issue, or what. But hey, everybody, welcome to Open Your Toys Cast, episode 221. And now I'm all, everybody looks frozen on my end, at least. This is the podcast dedicated to the four greatest action figure franchises of the 80s and all time. And those are Rock, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe. And Transformers. All right. Do you have your comics back up in front of you? Nope. You I, was looking at my, I was it? looking at my figures in my room. <laughs> 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 I haven't hung anything up in this house yet because I don't want to make any holes in the wall. After fixing and spackling and painting as much as I did in the other one, I want to either 3M tape it or it ain't getting hung up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. That's a good way to approach it. I always get... Uh, little miss make favorite um is going through her fort phase where everything has to have a a sheet around it or a blanket or something and we have put so many tack and staple holes in her ceilings and walls i'm just like no more no more holes in the walls <laughs> until you move it's all good until you move exactly exactly <laughs> Um, all right, if you want to kick it with us, we want you to do it here every other Sunday, 4 p.m. or 4 p.m. Mountain Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We've got Paul Schreiber, KJ Smith. We've got Jason Sasson in the house. What up? Brinkalizer in the house as well. Glad that everybody can join us. Um, if you can't make the live show, join our Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash open your toys um if you just want to know about the show check out a facebook page at facebook.com slash open your toys cast if you want links to everything we're talking about check out openyourtoys.com upper right hand corner of the page there'll be the show notes and have links to all the amazing shit we're talking about so last week we did a uh, a discussion show that was really great um rocks insights Kind of lots of people say, man, I'm, I'm rethinking how I'm doing this, you know, and and I agree the move, the move will always do that. Right. Like that kind of shocks you into reality <laughs> of how much shit we have. Yeah, I mean, I'm still going through it. Like I unloaded a lot of figures in the last two weeks. I mean, I sold sixteen hundred dollars worth of figures and they've all been G.I. Joe 25th. And I still have a box filled with figures. And I, I didn't even start, I'm not even, I have so much stuff on eBay, I don't even want to list any more right now. I want to kind of like cycle through with stuff. I still have my comic packs. I still have the three packs with the comic books of the O-ring ones. And I'm just like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, if I'm not displaying it, it's going to be going, so. Dude, no Those... joke. I was depressed for like three days after we recorded that. <laughs> I was I was in a dark were. place, dude. Like for like three days. I I was venting. I think me and Jay Jay were talking about it in the group. I was like, I was so fucked up. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be that way. It's just once, like once you see how much you have, like you have that storage unit. So like, just think about it. If you want to display all that stuff, they, how much real estate do you need for all that? And that's where with, with the FOMO, you don't want to miss it because you want to pay triple. I, I understand all that stuff. But to me, it's like at least I have a, a finite rule now. Unless it's a nostalgic reason to have it or it's being displayed, it's like, do I really need it or not? Or am I holding on to it as an investment? That's the other thing. Yeah. And that's so those O Ring comic books uh, packs may want to hold on to those. You know, Hasbro's tease that O Ring's coming back. And I think, I think a lot of that, uh, especially that late or, or what would you consider that early 90s O Ring stuff when they kind of went back to it, I think that'll have a big draw when, if they're making O Ring figures like we expect again but 
Um, sweet. Uh, you can subscribe to us through Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, RSS, Stitcher Smart Radio. Email us at team at openyourtoys.com. Voicemail 720-235-TOYS. Where can people reach you, Rock? I'm in Facebook uh, in the group. Also, you can find my eBay page, Rock DM. If you're looking for any 25th GI Joes, give it a look. I also got some uh, the Super 7 Motu figures up there. Um, you know, if you're interested in anything, just shoot me a message. I'll sell it to you off eBay for a definite discount. Uh, if, you know, if you have a friend in the group, I'll definitely give it to you even less than uh, retail if you're looking for something hard to find. Still have a bunch of uh, bunch of GI Joe 25th up there, some vintage Mego, Planet of the Apes, and a bunch of other stuff up there. So Rock DM eBay. Check it out. Hell yeah. Cliff, what about you? Uh, I post in the group uh, as Red Menace, uh, but most of my stuff I post directly on Instagram as Associate of Horror. Hell yeah. What about you, badass? You can find me in the group, and I'm always commenting on you guys' posts, so again, you'll find me out there. Hell yeah. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me, uh, facebook.com slash uh, open your toys, at Slick McFavorite on Instagram, or slick at openyourtoys.com. All right, let's go ahead and get into some what are we drinking. And it, let, let's just go with interesting things. <laughs> so Cliff will never be in this segment again. Another segment Cliff will never be in. <laughs> I got something. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Hey, we've talked about this in the past. Uh, Bartles and James, we've talked about the wine coolers, right? In honor of Pride Month, I am drinking a Calypso Colada, no judgment. Pineapple and coconut flavor, Seagram's Escape. Nice. Dude, that sounds amazing. 3.2% alcohol. It smells like a slushy. It smells like just sugar water. It, it looks like sugar water. Club. Yeah, exactly. the wholesale club. It was like it a, looks like a blue pack. freezy you can drink. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So in honor of Pride Month, this is what I'm drinking. <laughs> um, I've got something really interesting here. Yeah. Natty ice. Some, some natty ice in the house. Five, five point nine, which is a little disappointing. I thought it'd be stronger, but. Uh, so this is crazy. So my grandfather passed away um, over a year ago, um, but we finally we finally did the estate sale on his house, and we sold his house as well. And so he had one like thirty pack left, and none of my family drinks or at least drinks cheap beer. Uh, so they're like, "Do you want this?" And I'm like, "Hell yeah, I'll take that." So. <laughs> This one's to my grandfather. He would fucking hate that that I'm representing him on a on a toy collecting podcast. He was he was one of these dudes that was just like, you never spend money on something you don't need. So that's 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 what he told me my whole life. And then this dude in like the last five years of his life just he sold his ranch he was a sheep rancher he sold his ranch for a million dollars wow still the cheapest motherfucker you've ever known but in the like the last five years of his life he tried to spend all that money as fast as he humanly could <laughs> just going to estate sales so same thing like the people that sold his sale his estate knew him so well so it was kind of cool to be at the sale um, now in a state sale, like true school, like auction style, I got, got 10, I got 11, I got 12 here. Who's, who's going to give me 13, you know, that whole yeah. shit. And, uh, yeah. it was cool to, it was here to hear him tell stories about my grandfather. Cause he's been going to this company's estate sales for 30 years back then looking for ranching equipment, you know, but recently just buying anything he thought was interesting. So, so bottom line, Jason, did you add to the toy buying coffers with this passing now? Uh, no, he had he had no. I I did go. I am getting some money, so I did do some purchasing. Um, but uh, he didn't have anything. 
I guess that's not true. I have a woolly mammoth that that he had. One of those weird Toys R Us ones where it's like a vinyl coating, but it's a sponge on the inside. Huh. But, so, I did add that from his collection. Oh, no, I meant like, I mean, adding a monetary uh, money to your toy co- buying fund from him. Yes. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I I have been using a portion. I I have been going a little crazy, um, looking for. I, I'm I'm gonna do probably one big purchase with the money, um, but still trying to figure out what that is. Ed Arndt might be helping me along with that purchase decision because him too. He's he's selling off huge chunks of his collection that he doesn't display and doesn't have any meaning to him. So, um, all right. Uh, anybody else, you got anything badass or are you just doing some water over there? 94 degrees drinking water today, but <laughs> <laughs> in a Yeti too, going to yep. stay nice and cool the whole show. Yep. <laughs> it's so right. cold in my house. We watched the movie yesterday. My wife had to put a blanket on it. Oh God! <laughs> That's good. That nice new house air conditioning, man. That, that shit is beautiful. It's like a meat locker. <laughs> <laughs> Look, nipples are hard. <laughs> All right, let's get into some freaking show news. First up, uh, con news or what equates to con news nowadays. Uh, Snake Eyes Day. Oh. So I originally thought this was supposed to be a Transformers one. I put it on my calendar as Transformers, but it turned out to be Snake Eyes. Anybody watch this? No. 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 Nobody. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like you don't watch? Do you watch? I, I guess I shouldn't assume, but I did assume that you just watch stuff all day. No, actually, you, you I'm actually pretty really busy. Yeah, I'm, re- I'm really busy at work, okay. um, which is nice because the time goes by. But, yeah, I, I almost don't get to see it. I completely missed the whole collapse of that building in Florida. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Until like 7 o'clock that night. I'm like, what? What collapsed? <laughs> so, yeah, I am I am really like pretty much from 8 a.m. to about 4.30. I'm pretty much always working. Every once in a while, if I have like a translator call, I can check my Twitter feed. Oh, but, wow. Because there's a lot of delay in a translator call, but other than that, it's no. I'm I'm usually pretty busy, which is awesome. I'll take it. I wanna I wanna be employed for a while, so I wanna continue to be busy. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Um, all right. Well, I'm just gonna read these notes that people can see on the screen. But they played the full trailer. We'll talk about that in grab bag later. The only toy reveals were their core six inch line. And I'm going to wait for that at retail. I think, Cliff, you got some pre-orders in for that. Oh, no. I, I have no interest in the core line. Oh, uh, really? Who yeah, because my, my G.I. Joe is 4-inch. Now, I understand okay. that Classify is like the Marvel Legends, so I'm in for that. But if the movie line, if the, if the non-classified movie line is 6-inch, I have no interest. I'll check out the motorcycles if I see them at Target or something, because I like 6-inch motorcycles. Um, but... <laughs> No. <laughs> That's what I was kind of thinking of the motorcycles as well. But during Prime Day, they put up a Black Widow and her motorcycle, which looked really nice. It was a two pack. And uh, Peter was trying to talk me into it. And, I, and, and even for 24 bucks for a six inch uh, Black Widow and a six inch motorcycle, I still couldn't pull the trigger. I just don't freaking have the space. Yeah. It's a good price. Um, uh, Jay, Jay Sasson saying a uh, guy was nerdy as hell. Yeah, the the dude, my daughter loved it because I guess that guy was from some show. Oh no, it wasn't my daughter. It was my. It was it was a guy on the board. He's a IRL friend here in Denver. I guess that dude was from Holes. Which I've never seen holes, but I guess it has a pretty strong cult following. The Shia LaBeouf movie, yeah, uh, that yeah, one? yeah. It was the it, and this 
I don't know if there's multiple, but it was the black dude from that movie that was the host of this event. I was thinking of a so different you... movie named Holes, but I guess that was on a different website. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be like Meat Holes or something, but... I think it's like uh, a like a young adult book or something. <laughs> like I remember when it came out. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's a young adult, and I think it's a series too. But uh, let's see, uh, Mandala. Let's see. Hot topic will develop T-shirts. Uh, disguise costume cosplay line officially released. So disguise is uh, is the kind of like middle, right? Like. Like, you've got cheap bullshit, you've got disguise, you've got ruby, and then you get high-end or something. Um, let's see, Operation Blackout News, which I've still not ever played that. War on Cobra Mobile Game 2.0 will release July 2nd. But yeah, that's a lot of talk about Dead Game, the Snack Guys Dead Game, but... So yeah, that was pretty disappointing. Those six inch ones, I love that they have like a vintage style night creeper in the line and shit like that, but I'm gonna buy a storm shadow and see what I think of it and until then there's nothing really Fuck that it. interests me about that. Besides the motorcycles, like you say, Cliff, if those are six inch motorcycles for twenty bucks or something, I might jump on that. Um, and then a little bit of local con news, at least for us here. So what used to be called Denver Comic Con until they got sued and now called uh, Fan Expo Denver. Uh, get a little bit of our cosplayers here. Uh, they're going to do a Halloween weekend show. Um, only 75%. So our... Our convention center will do a hundred thousand people, depending on how much room you rent at it. At the height of Denver Comic Con, it was a hundred thousand people, uh, saying they're only going to do seventy-five percent. Which I don't know. Do you think seventy-five thousand people would show up to a con in October? Do you think it's too soon? I don't know, man. Like. Uh I, you know, I'm in the Chicago suburbs, and I got to tell you, it was like overnight. The co threat of COVID disappeared. There's yes. no mask anywhere <laughs> yeah. to be seen. Like, I, yeah. it's like it never happened. So, yes, I do. <laughs> like, yeah, the only thing that reminds me of it here are old people and kids. The, yeah. You still see, you know, you still see the ultra wary old people wear masks, and then parents are doing pretty good with having their kids wear masks. But beyond I'd that, say, yeah, I'd say like where I live in Long Island, it's like an eighty-five percent no mask to fifteen percent with mask. It's like mm -hmm. same thing, like overnight, basically. The only place I see people wearing masks are some places you still have to wear it, like the post office, because that's federal property. Oh, oh, yeah, federal different. That. Yeah, oh. even like my wife's job. My wife works at a uh, Brookhaven National Lab, which is on federal property, but even they're allowed to take off their mask starting Monday. Oh, and that's nice. And I tell you what, that's what I feel. So most of our grocery stores, they're, you know, and again, I'm sure they're doing a vaccination thing or whatever, but um, uh, you don't have, I see employees without masks there, but like all of our fast food, all of them still have to wear masks. And I, I kind of feel bad if you're vaccinated, you know, and maybe this is me buying into the the big government lie of you know you're you're 99 percent safe or 95.9 percent safe or whatever but i'm like at this point you know just just let everybody choose what works best for them you know fucking you're not vaccinated and you don't want to wear a mask then hey that's your fucking choice you know it seems like all the cons are really aiming for that last that late weekend because I know Baltimore Comic Con. I think they all kind of realize that uh, you know to end of October things are going to happen. I think New York Comic Con is a late is late this year. All the Comic Cons are really late. Yeah, well, yeah the the 
San Diego is is, uh, is going to try to do something in October or November or something. So I'm going to so Chicago that, Toy Show in in October. Nice, hell yeah. Um, yeah, 24th. we're gonna we're gonna have a big toy show here where I'm gonna sell. So when you're selling. I'm going to be exposed to every single person that comes in that place. Every single person's at least going to walk by my shit. And most people fucking stop and talk about something or another. You know, if you're... I have mostly modern stuff, so if you're a modern collector, people talk about it. Triple A in the house. What up, Triple A? Uh, let's see. What a Brinkalizer... Uh, oh, that's crazy. Oh, I didn't realize Shit. that. Both in Baltimore. Wow. So if you're, if you're, so how far, I'm bad with geography, Rock. How far is Baltimore from you? Is that a, a for day me? Trip it's for weird. You? It's only like a, with no traffic, depending on what time I leave, <laughs> I can get there in like four and a half hours. It's 225 miles from my house. But okay. I've had, I've had going there where I get there in four and a half hours, and I've had times coming home it's taken me seven and a half. Oh, God. So this yeah. year, I've actually determined, I figured it out, the amount of gas, the tolls, and everything else, I'm better off flying. Because the, um, the tolls is like 70-something dollars, plus two tanks of gas, and then I, I could probably get airfare just as cheap. So... Definitely thinking about flying this year. <laughs> uh, hold on, everybody, or or sorry for this. For some reason, okay, my mic's still connected. It, my streamyard freaked out. It's like your mic is not connected. Oh, uh, that's what happened. Yeah, Baltimore's a good small show. I think it's like thirty thousand people there. You know, it gets real busy on Saturday. You know, Friday's probably the great day to go and. I always enjoy the cosplay contest, so I'm undecided if I'm going this year only because I didn't know what in regards to the uh, the pandemic. But now that it seems over, uh, I'm contemplating going. Well, and what about TFCon? Would you ever consider that? Or is that I I didn't because I didn't even realize it was the same weekend. But uh, I'll have to. I'm going to talk to the Star Joe's guys, see what they what they plan on doing. That would be might be a good idea to. It, you know, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, let's see about figs. Still wearing a mask at work. Yeah, the Australia one. And, and props to them, you know, it's fucked with, uh, um, it, it's fucked. And I, is this Mark Haddock? Tell me, Mark, if this is you, it might be a fucking thing. But, uh, uh, I know Mark Haddock went into like a deep lockdown, like can't leave your house just a few weeks ago. So they're taking this serious when this shit pops up. So Your uh, mic is super low, Jason. Is it? Yeah. Oh, shit. God damn it. I hate this. <laughs> I should have I should have just bought a bought airpod pros during prime day and hopefully that would have solved everything since i'm on a fucking mac probably that would work perfect with my mac and for some reason every other mic doesn't i don't know man i'm using this on my mac and it's working okay i got this from amazon for like 60 bucks oh, really? oh wow I, w I wonder where the other if it's two blocks away i'm trying to think where else it could be held then because the baltimore convention center is pretty big so I wonder what the what's the other venue, Brink? No, I'm really I, curious. Oh, to, I, he's on the delay, so I'm just curious to see what the uh, where where the other one's at. Oh, it's probably at a hotel then. No oh, shit, my shit is just like completely freezing up. Sorry, everybody. Okay, this is me talking. Oh yeah, my mic it. So I lost my level. Okay, this is me talking. Oh, oh yes. yeah. whoa, You're way good. hot, way hot. Yeah. Okay, so is that better now? Oh, yeah. It's yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Gotta love this. Uh, so he said TF Con's just at a hotel. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into see what hotel it's at. All right. Let's go ahead and get into fucking toy news. Uh, buzzworthy Cybertronian Bumblebee up in this bitch. 
So I have closed like everything down I can close down and my shit is still dragging here. Um, but this makes me super excited. This is, this is like those modes, even the lamppost mode of Soundwave are some of my favorites from that first episode of Transformers. So I am glad that we are finally getting a bumble, an official one. I have the third party release. <laughs> um, anybody else care about this stuff? No. Care about this cool bumblebee right here? No, yeah. not at all. <laughs> <laughs> what is he like? A like a some kind of hovercraft? Yeah, they all have these kind of weird, like rounded. So you you've seen us talk about the tetrajets, the the seekers, yes. where they're like triangles. So everybody just kind of has this weird, futuristic look for again 1984. But yeah, when they're on Cybertron, that's what he transforms into. Yeah, and who is it, Jazz or Wheeljack, that turns into like the minivan? He turns into like one of those new USPS trucks. That's what he looks like. Um, so origin Bumblebee. But I'm excited for this. And then these are like Energon rods or something they call them before it all just went to Energon uh, cubes. Uh, yeah, Jay Sasson saying best B ever. Uh, oh, the Wheeljack was the little minivan, the Cybertronian minivan. Um, all right. Oh, that shouldn't be a right click, left click. Revelation Wave 1 in hand. So uh, we'll be talking about it and what we got, but I, I picked up my my Skelegod. I think you've got that too, right, Cliff? Yep. So these are um, what I what I've seen the most of, and again I I am so behind in all this shit. Let me get down to the pictures here. Is seeing people bitching about Skeletor's face the most. Um, someone even posted in the group a screen cap of uh, oh that's interesting. I can't believe how much bigger they are than classics. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, Are these in retail right now? Uh, Walmart. Uh, oh. What? Oh, they are. They're so the four, the four figures. Yeah, they're exclusive to Walmart first, and then they'll okay. go wide. And then Skeleton God and Battle Cat are exclusive to Target first before they go wide. And are people finding the Walmart figures? That that I don't know. I've only seen Toy oh, Shiz and Pixel Dan's videos. So people are complaining about this face. Now the screen cap from Pixel Dan's had like a paint miss, a, a paint app fuck up on the teeth. So it looked like he had one tooth missing almost. Like the molar? Yeah. <laughs> the the yeah. molar Skeletor? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, which, hey, maybe that's that would be considered a... a... Oh, I lost Jason. Did anyone lose Jason? Yeah, yep. I lost him too. It's the rock show now. Just so everybody knows, TFCon is at the Marriott, which is two blocks away from the uh, convention center. It might actually be the hotel connected to it by a skyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jason. Yeah, lost yeah, all yeah, audio on Jason. He's moving That's his right. lips. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, for some reason. Some re oh, lost you again. Tell me, to stop streaming again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Who did? Fuck! There Just you put go. Put it right on Cliff's face. That's all. Okay. <laughs> no, how don't do that, Jason. Please. <laughs> 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 Okay, how are my levels? Am I too high, too low? You're good. You're, you're good. Yeah, Brinkalizer, I think you're right. I think I need a reboot. Um, maybe we'll get to a story where I'll drop out and just fucking reboot everything. Because I've tried to shut down everything I can 
on my fucking laptop and it's still fucking up. Uh, but yeah, kind of interesting. It looks like from the screenshot too, it looks like it's kind of like a semi-transparent shit that's going on with them. Um, but I'm just always put off by a Skeletor without a yellow face. Yeah. And, but if, but if you look at your Skelegod, it looks like it's the same thing. It looks like they're trying to do like bone color or something like that. You know, um, the battle cat, I still haven't seen people have found it in my area, but I still haven't found it. I think at this point, I'm just going to... I mean, I haven't pre-ordered anything because I, I want to see them because I'm yeah. still not sure about these proportions. But if I think I'm just going to do He-Man and Skeletor and just call it a day on this line. I don't even think I'm going to get Battle Cat. So, compa- so think of him compared to the classics. Now, this is sitting up on a platform, but that's going to be a huge fucking Battle Cat, dude. Yeah, if Pixel this- Dan did some comparison shots and they're fucking crazy. Oh, so how much yeah. are these retailing for? These got to be expensive. Man. Thirty, thirty for Battle Cat and Skelegod. Wow. Um, I don't know what the basic. Probably, probably twenty five. I'd assume. So Marvel Legend kind of stuff. Yeah. And nobody told me I still have Brinkalizer's comment up there from ten minutes ago. <laughs> I was just using it as camouflage. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it covers up rock, but the fourth person in the fucking grid always gets <laughs> fucked with. That. It's okay. I'd happily volunteer to be fourth every time. You could cover me. I'm cool. So yeah, so this was Jay. This was something that people have been talking about. Uh, so Joe Fest was combined with the Augusta Toy Show. Um, so, so yeah, that that Joe Fest. It's crazy. Have you seen videos or or pictures of that floor? No. It, yeah, it was it, jam-packed. Yeah, yeah, I saw the floor, yeah. And it's like a, you know, like a rat's maze, you know, fucking of shit with just people everywhere. So that'll be interesting. That'll be a very toy community specific thing to see what the spread's like. Uh, let's see, Brinkalizer. Oh, classics won't even fit on it? That's crazy. Or maybe it just will look weird, but... Anyways, alright, let's let's get past this shit. We're all gonna be seeing this shit soon, but... The, the tiny heads are a little bit... The more I see this stuff in hand, uh... The tiny heads are getting me a little aggravated about it, you know. Um, all right. Uh, new Lego sets here. I'm still trying to freaking... My outlook won't fucking quit here. Yeah, just force quit. No, don't want to card changes, all this bullshit. Oh, now my shit's completely froze up. Oh, all right. Now. Here we go. Here we go. Let's blow this shit up. Oh, while this is uh, loading, here we go. So this is one of my favorite things of all time, just because it's one of the few vintage things I had as a kid is the troop transport wow yeah i definitely need a reboot you're absolutely right brinkalizer this shit is ridiculous this is like i'm fucking on a 56k modem here uh oh they're calling it the imperial armored marauder oh this isn't a troop transport this might be a spoiler. Sorry, everybody. It looks like it has a, the troop transport look, but then it's got gunnery shit on the side and cockpit on the top. Isn't that from The Mandalorian? Yeah. Oh, is that the thing they hi- they hijack? Well, it's the thing that they bring the troops in at the end of season one. Like no, that's just the troop transport, though. Like literally, like the toy coming. Yeah, the toy. Yeah. 
Yeah, but this isn't... The troop transport has slots for yeah. troops down the side. This one has, like, guns and a little, like, fucking ammo basket or fucking, you know, a spy thing. So, looks like they might be modding this for another version. Because we've never seen a Skittle trooper, right? We've never seen, like, a painted trooper. Well, I guess you had the flame trooper, which was a red stormtrooper. So this is called an artillery stormtrooper. Yeah, so I think this is a spoiler. God for damn. what? Bad Batch? No, for The Mandalorian. They haven't even started filming season three yet. Exactly. And I, I think we're getting a leaked fucking... Oh. So it, it could be made up. You know, Lego's not beyond that. Lego's not... But to introduce a whole nother trooper... Well, who's the guy that's driving it? Yeah, who's uh, that? Action Jackson, bro. Grief car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you sure that's not the thing that him and Bill Burr hijacked? I'm I don't remember sure what it looked like. That, yeah, they hijacked. That, that, that oh, do they hijack? I, I forgot about that. So maybe this is the thing they hijacked. Oh, this is oh, from. Yeah. Oh, this is the thing they 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 hijacked to get away from the facility. Brink is saying. Okay. All right. Thank you, Brinkalizer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's been a while since I've watched those episodes. So. It, it has been. I agree. Same I was like, way. I can't even describe the ship anymore. I, I oh, just know no. they hijacked something. <laughs> and I just went back when I didn't mean to do that. Okay, how about this? Let's, uh, let's come up with a topic that you guys can discuss for five minutes while I reboot. Let's talk uh, about the Halloween Kills trailer, Rock. Oh, my your... Lord. Oh, because let's... I haven't seen the trailer, I've so seen yes. It. You oh, reboot. Hold on. Okay. Let oh. me let me exit out of this shit eggplant and try emoji, not to disconnect. Eggplant you. emoji. Eggplant emoji. <laughs> oh, no shit, God, right? I was turgid. Right. Okay, oh. hold on. Hold on. Let me get out of here. Let me uh, I guess I can just close my browser. All right. You guys discuss. I'll be back. All right. Oh god, that trailer. Where do you start? Okay, first dude, of all, him slaughtering the fireman. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was sick. The only He's... thing that the only thing that's kind of messed up about the trailer is obviously we know there's a sequel. They know there's a third sequel. Like they filmed at the same time. Yeah. No, they no, they like haven't filmed it yet. But oh, they didn't there film is it another. Yet? They haven't filmed okay. it. They were gonna do them both back to back, but then during production they said, "Fuck it, we'll do ends later." So we oh, do know okay. Halloween ends is coming, but they haven't shot it. Okay. Either way. We knew there was going to be a sequel because you knew at the end or whatnot. When the firefighters come, let me tell you, that's a pretty quick response for a house that's completely engulfed in a propane fire. His mask is barely melted, though. That's the, yes, only, but issue I, that's the only issue. There's a shot in the trailer where you see him. He's in the like the, the where she was hiding the guns. She had that like metal. Yeah. Uh, oh, thing. he went. In there's there. a shot. Yeah. There's a shot where that opens and he's hiding in that thing. Uh, okay. So he went and protected himself by hiding in that little thing. But again, I don't, dude. He shouldn't be alive. He got shot in the fucking chest. You and he got a bunch of fingers blown off. Yes, he got his fingers blown off, and he got shot in the face by uh, Strode's daughter when she when she baited him. All I the... know is the death toll in the trailer alone oh, is oh, massive. I can't wait. <sighs> and that's, dude, that's two and a half minutes of like a two hour movie. Like, who yeah. knows what they haven't shown us yet? Well, From what I understand. The reaches down to grab the other guy's oh, hand. You see his hand come up and pull oh. him down. What about when the guy starts up the, the, the sword? Like, oh, the yeah. life <laughs> and he oh, pulls his bag and just grinds him with it. Oh, my God. He just comes out of that house. He's got the Halligan, that like pry bar, and he's. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> and even they, they do, like the little ode to Halloween three, the three trick or treaters on the killing night yes. killing kids. It's supposed to be a whole. I heard it's a whole new level of violence that we have not seen before. Good, because well, we know he's gonna. He kills kids because he killed the kid that was in the car he stole. Remember that little kid with the scratchy voice who? Oh yeah, wanted to right, be a dancer. Right. <laughs> like, he killed him. <laughs> And the best God, view I'm at the hip hop ballet now. Of <laughs> like the the best view is when they're uh, they take a view of the mask of like the firefighters are yes. approaching and Michael, just, and you just see his fucking head just getting smashed. <laughs> the uh, some of the other things I noticed with the trailer was there. There's a scene where they must obviously they get the mask off of him. Yeah. So now there's like a bait and switch where like he's gonna go hunting for the mask, but now the town is like. 
the angry mob that everybody's got bats and shotguns. It's gonna be crazy. I think it's gonna be him versus the wait. town. Yeah, dude. Like it's like they're not trapped. It's like I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with, with me. me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did give away a lot of the plot in that movie. Like they're like, look, he's making a beeline back to the old Myers house. So you kind of know what's going to happen in the movie. It's now it's like filling in all the little blanks. Yeah, but it's like you can't I don't spoil a Halloween movie for me because I just yeah. want to watch Michael Myers kill people. <laughs> like I you know, agree. it's like. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil this, but they are going to stop Jason at the end. It doesn't matter because in the next one that we're going to find out how that yeah. didn't work. <laughs> like you know, like it's, it's like there's no spoiling way. it. Yeah, yeah, like I just I just think it looks so cool, like just so violent. Like the other thing that I'm really looking forward to is like I'm so fucking sick of Snake Eyes shit. It's Snake Eyes everything. I mean, the only thing I'm hoping is with Halloween. Trailer, dude? Yeah, but the only thing is with all the Halloween with this movie. There'll be hopefully Michael Myers shit everywhere. Halloween yeah. stuff. That's the only good part I'm thinking is like going to Spencer's or Hot Topic, and they might just have all kinds of stuff we don't expect to see because of the movie tie-ins. Yeah, merchandising, man. merchandising. Well, Michael Myers. <laughs> when is that movie supposed to release? October fifteenth. Oh yeah, fuck yeah! You're going to Spencer's. That shit's gonna be loaded with Michael Myers. Perfect stuff. time of year. Spirit right? of Halloween, man. I can't wait to go to a Spirit of Halloween this year. Like, I love those fucking stores. <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, Cliff, you were talking about getting some ink, and I shared in the private chat the uh, those pictures. Any thoughts on what the... I know he's, oh, it's Rocketeer, right? Yeah, Rocketeer. So, Rocketeer is the tattoo I have scheduled for August 25th. Um, it's going to be all, all on the inside of my forearm, Rocketeer. Um, and then next, after Rocketeer, I kind of really want Bill Paxton from Near Dark. Um, and then, cause I want to get, I also want to get the final chapter, uh, hockey mask, the hockey mask with the blade sticking out of the eye. Yeah. That's, I want that to go on this, thanks this blank spot right here. Right. Okay. So. Yeah. I thought so, those tattoos were pretty wild that I saw online. That was oh, wild. I'm so excited. That's why I'm curbing down the toy buying for sure. Cause I already have a thousand dollars of tattoos scheduled. So. <laughs> and Hey, just think with all the stuff you bought, if there's some stuff that you're thinking, do I really need that anymore? And it really went up and be like, well, I could part with this and part with that. And yeah, you know, pay for your tattoo, tattoo right there. Yeah. I'm I'm super excited yeah, because I got a tattoo appointment on the 23rd of July, and that's just to recolor my Superman because it's like 22 years old and all the colors gone. So how how has tattoo polish been affected by the whole COVID thing? Uh I don't know because I really didn't really look into it during COVID. But I mean, my guy, the guy I go to, he's booked out through the end of July right now. Wow! So like, like he's and you know the the days of walking into a tattoo parlor on like Wednesday at like five o'clock and getting a tattoo are over. It's like you got to go in and schedule something months out. So, but I I want to go to this place and I don't mind waiting. I, it's a tattoo. It's going to be on my fucking arm forever. I'd rather go wait and get it done by somebody good. Like, so I'm super psyched though. Like I I can't wait. I haven't had a new tattoo in eleven years, and it's I've had the itch for about. Eight of those years to get a new one. Yeah, I've had a new tattoo fucking about ten years as well. I have oh. zero tattoos. Okay, let's see. Oh, see, I'm not stuttering all over the no, place. Oh, you look good. My audio okay? Yep. yep. All right. You just missed the jizz explosion. Well, good. Because <laughs> I place. haven't, I haven't seen the trailer yet, so I'm, I'm glad I missed the. The explosion. Well, hey, I before we get to, the subject, I wanted you... to explode all over my face. Well, so. hey, before we even before we move on, did you see the previous Halloween movie, the 2018 movie? Oh yeah, of movie? course. Okay. Yeah, did you like it? Yeah. Okay. You will not the, be disappointed. We're, we're talking about the Lori, the Lori Strode one where she's yeah. a recluse that's all prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then where you will not be disappointed. Sarah Connor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Miles with you with a bit, with started. her still, her seventies hairdo still. Oh, I love Jamie Lee Curtis so much. <laughs> I love her. I love her. I love her. I love a fish called Wanda. I love True Lies. <laughs> I love her. I love her. <laughs> so, um, all right, let's get back to some toys here. So, the next Lego set revealed is the. Slave One from the Mandalorian. 
So this is kind of cool. Um, we've gotten Slave One 18 different times in, in Lego form. Um, is that a real number? Or are you just uh, being high No, I, I, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I'm just because I, I believe it. it. <laughs> yeah, I, me too. I, I was like, yeah, that's about super right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this one's only a fifty dollars set, so this one's not going to be uh, setting any milestones or anything. But kind of cool that you get the old, uh, the old boba armor here, which I guess they denote by having black instead of gray behind the armor plates, and that's the only real difference here. But that transporter is a good idea. It must also act as like a stand. That yeah, this thing dolly. here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a really good idea. A great, a great way to be able to stand it up. Um, and then what is this? Imperial Light. Oh, so this is... Uh, what's his name? Guzman from fucking Breaking Bad. Oh, his ship. Oh, yeah. Giancarlo Esposito, he is uh, uh, Moff Gideon. There you go. So this is Moff Gideon's cruiser. That's cool. You get a little little uh, mini builds, whereas you still get some play, play features with the minifigures here. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Oh, Cara Dune up in this bitch. Oh, Except for they put, yeah, there we go. They put a big red X through that figure for some reason. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's this thing with the orange helmet? Oh, whoa. Okay, oh, the here orange. We go. I thought that was, I thought that was the Billy Burr figure. It is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bill Barr. Dude, I hope uh, they make a Mayfield man. Red, dude. <laughs> <laughs> really? All right. That's I think just it's just bad. that website, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, this is just bad image optimization, unfortunately. But uh, anything, anybody... I mean, of course, I'll be getting this Troop Transport, even the modified version of it, for sure. Anybody else? None of you do Lego, right? No, not really. Nah. Nope. Boo! I have uh, enough. I <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. his arm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh shit. Um, all right. New Kingdom multi pack. So nothing much to discuss here. Just something showing up in in systems. Uh, when worlds collide, DCP, DPCI. So it's going to be Target. Eighty dollars. And what else we got here? So July 21st, so this is coming up pretty quick. Uh, when does that premiere? It's like July 27th, I think, is is when uh, Kingdom premieres on Netflix. Are you guys even watching the Netflix series? I'm sure you all have Netflix. Nope. I, I yeah, never I finished do, it. But no, I haven't watched it. It's Transformers. Yeah. Yeah, it was honestly it was kind of it was a little boring to me, and I just I agree. I I agree. On Optimus, cried too much. (laughs) Uh, Real talk, bros. Real talk. (laughs) Where does anybody know where that was coined from? Wasn't that a show, like a popular like news show where they're like real talk? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. All right, get get to your Googles, listener. Um, Let's see, possible first look at G.I. Joe Classified Series Bat and Alley Viper. So, looking good. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, there's the Alley Viper shield for sure. So go over to the one where it looks like it's painted. Yeah, this is the artwork oh, from the, artwork, the back yeah. of the thing, right? Because that's the whole thing. The Alley Viper's been on the artwork since the first wave. Well, if you do the... So. Like, I've been tracking the numbers on it. I have every figure except for one. And none of the numbers match up. So there's there's gaps in there. <laughs> where, so, yeah, we're, we're missing figures. Okay. The bat head looks like a scaled-up one of the snow bat that came with the battle damage. Yeah. 
I wonder well, if they'll they, come with two heads. And they oh, True. it's got to. Yeah. yeah, it's got to come with battle damage. But that's a lot of accessories already. So maybe this is going to be a deluxe pack because uh, a bat's got to come with a backpack, three four arms. hand, oh, yeah, yeah, three hand attachments or four if, if he doesn't come with one attached. And that, and then, then they're also showing there's going to be an alternate head. That's a lot of accessories, and that scares me for a target release, right? Yeah, oh that seems like a target thing. Yeah. Although I will say the last target release, I have plenty of time to pre-order both of them. Yeah. So something's changing. Do you think it's yeah, possible dude. to do a two-pack, two-pack of bats? I wish. Yeah, I would. I would. Fifty dollars. And then you kind of have the accessory to share. Yeah, super accessory pack. Yeah, this uh, one that actually, one that's more beneficial. Head, one, one regular head. Yeah. Let's not get too in depth customer. here. <laughs> one one per customer, guys. This guy doesn't have a target. <laughs> well, that means it'll be a true... It, so the Baroness... So you said you found Baroness... I assume that was at a True, right? At a Toys R Us? Yeah. And that's the only place you can find Classified? Uh, oh, no, I can find other places, but I've never seen a Baroness, like a Target okay. exclusive, at another store. So are your, true, are your Trues carrying Classified exclusives like Target did then? Is, that, is it kind of comparable? That or? was just some weird find, dude. Oh, that's crazy. In my local, I'm sorry. In my local toy group, somebody posted an end cap. It was one of those gondola shelvings, and it it was wall to wall baronesses. They must have had like a dozen on there on the end cap. Yeah, it was stacked with all the classified figures. (laughs) Yeah. Well, and like you say, this is the first this weekend. I walked into a random Target, three bloods. And two of the uh, Cronus Keldor two packs, things that were super hard to find, just randomly walked in and plenty on the peg. The bloods are everywhere down here. Uh, blood. People in major, major blood. blood. Oh, major bloods. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People are just posting, you know, side peg shots of six or double pegs. I've even seen eight of them. I wonder if he'll be a peg here. warmer. I think he is going to be at this point. Because Zartan's a peg warmer. That's so weird to me. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Zartan was going to fucking... Well, I I still only see like one Cobra Commander, one Gung Ho every now and again. I still don't see any kind of uh, lasting presence of G.I. Joe Classified on the shelves here yet. Yeah, no. We have two pegs. That's it. Have you Uh, seen Retro yet? uh, I've only seen one Retro once, and it was the Baroness. Um, right. About about two months ago, just one, just sitting there. I've seen can, Wave One and Two, no Stalker Troopers yet. Can you imagine the people that paid eighty, ninety dollars for Major Blood in the first week or so? Yeah, can like you imagine that guy who paid that? Rock, rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine what that feels like? <laughs> Was that you, Cliff? Did you really pay that? No, no it's me. No, it's, no, it's badass. <laughs> So Jay say he'll never find it. Yeah, barenesses are gone from America. It sounds like they're stockpiling them, and and, well, and America's had up there. The last GI Joe stream, <laughs> though, they said more barenesses are coming. Yeah, more more beachheads. Well, no, back. more more bareness. They're gonna single. They're gonna single pack her. Oh, but okay. not not the exclusive. They yeah, said it wouldn't come with the bike snake shooty thing that she comes with that that's what will be interesting is what the accessories are yeah um i have two of the statue baroness yeah statues poo poo (laughs) 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 all right uh let's get on here uh jurassic park crossover so this is kind of a no-brainer, you know, the fucking, the Beast Wars Megatron as a T-Rex. They're already releasing it as a figure called 
T hyphen Rex, like uh, Rex something, um, which is something that I don't even know about or care about. Um, but a Jurassic Park crossover, so I'm gonna buy it because I have every other crossover. You you know, like I I can't help myself, so I'll buy this. But see, I was thinking it would have been Hound as the uh, the Jeep, the Jurassic Jeep. Ooh. Right? Oh shit, bro! Now you got now you got me hoping and wishing. Um, but because normally the good guy. Oh, that's true. I was gonna say normally the good guy vehicles, but I'm just thinking that Grimlock's a good guy too. But I'm thinking the Jeep. Well, the but Jeep's it wouldn't iconic. be Grimlock. Yeah, but when's the last time we got a really good Willie's Jeep? A Willie Jeep. Those it, are Wranglers, it, by the way. They're it was. Really- they are Willie's bro. Wranglers was beyond that. Wrangler in the movie. What movie are we talking about? Jurassic the Park. First Jurassic Park. Park. The- oh yes, I'm sorry. You're okay. I get to your point. Yes, Wrangler. I I'm thinking of the Generation One Jeep, which was a Willie Jeep. Okay. The man. But yes, you're right. So that would be crazy. So the last time we got a great Wrangler was in the Alternators line. Yeah, when they did that or, black one. Yeah. Or Masterpiece. But I couldn't imagine them doing a Masterpiece figure in this crossover line. That would be a $120 crossover figure, you know, at the cheapest. But, oh, you got me, you got me excited. And now I don't think it'll ever happen. <laughs> Um, all right. Let's see here. Uh, new vintage collection collection listings on Amazon. Uh, so what they were saying, vintage collection IG-11, which, fuck a, which is weird. Oh, so a Mandalorian IG-11. Okay. And then the Emperor. That's the one that everyone's kind of excited about. Um, it would be nice to get a nice, super articulated uh, Emperor from the original movies, hopefully. Um, they did call the Vintage Collect... Or not the Vintage... The Revenge of the Sith... There was a figure called the Emperor from that line, but I'd assume this would be a vintage Emperor. Um, now, Rock, are you doing vintage collection at all? I know I ask these questions yeah. every time we bring this no, shit up. No, I, I but... sold all those off away a while ago. Okay. okay, so if it's... So are you at a point where if it's not actually vintage you're not collecting it or are you still no. doing like the walmart transformer reissues and... yeah i'll talk about that later but i actually went to a walmart this weekend and i did find the ghostbusters uh oh. so yeah no i have there's little tweaks to my rules but yeah if they do reissue okay. g1 transformers i will buy those you know vintage packaging vintage style yeah i'll buy it okay. yeah, vintage, oh the... that's a g- vintage toy right is yeah. that where you're drawing the line? Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. I, mean, but I do have some modern store. stuff on pre-order. I have, I do have that Hordak wave from DCBS on pre-order. I have some NECA oh. stuff on pre-order. Like I just ordered the Wolfman today from oh. uh, <laughs> the figure is so Werewolf fucking London. beautiful. Oh, I, I thought you meant Wolfman. Never mind. But yeah, the American World from London is good too. Yeah. So I mean, I. I I had Castle Grayskull on pre-order from DCBS, so... Okay, um, okay. Yeah. But all plans... All plans to integrate into your vintage display, right? Because right. everything you display is vintage, right? Or, yeah, or... I don't have... The only modern I have displayed are the uh, the Walmart reissued or Striker, the Hiss, and the... Uh, the San Diego Comic Con Missile Command, and oh, the, okay. the Transformers, the Walmart Transformers. But those are all the those are all G one molds, quote unquote. Right. But and the, yeah. and the Transformer. I mean, the, and the Ghostbuster figures. I have them displayed as well. So here's the true test to this. Uh, li- this is the litmus test: 
is uh, the Fang. Do you have the new Fang displayed? No. Thank God. All right. No. <laughs> All right. You're staying. You're staying true because that yeah. Fang sucks. I I really like the pilot, but them trying to be like this is retro dro. I'm like fuck you and your mother with that. <laughs> 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 yes, I am angry about it, and I own it. I own a, I own a sealed version and an open version, and I fucking hate it. It's amazing. I actually, <laughs> I kind of like it, and I only have one. And you fucking hate it. And they got two out of you. <laughs> and things he despises, he has three of. Yeah, yeah, no shit. <laughs> you save shipping on that shit. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it's going to be worth money because there's people like me saying, oh, it's not really vintage. I don't fucking want it. And then five years from now, people are like, man, I really wish I would have gotten that retro released Fang, even though it's not the real Fang. I bet you people would pay 20 to $25 just for that figure alone. I mean, I yeah, so, so many people the figure's awesome. That figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah the figure, figure is, is the figure is fucking spot on, and and I got it clearance, so I didn't pay the twenty five bucks or marked down at least. So I paid seventeen bucks for them, but I love the figure. the The copter is crap. Speaking of crap, yeah. uh, we get, we get a domes for, but the artwork, right? I mean, look at that artwork. We're, we've got work, some Marvel. Really? Yeah, the yeah, packaging dude. is great, but you can put a piece of shit inside the box. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. What the I can slap guaranteed on that piece of shit. You know, I'm <laughs> telling you, it's a guaranteed piece of shit. <laughs> oh, so shit. Tommy boy so, for you. Yeah, these. <laughs> what? Dude, I we just recently rewatched that within the last uh, three to six months, trying to get my daughter into slapstick comedy and shit, because she loves Adam Sandler. Everything Adam Sandler has ever done is the best movies ever to her, and so I'm trying to get that into Chris Far, you know, like yeah. that that melding, and she just won't do it, but. Yeah, I, I I still can't do this even with that packaging. No, so. dude, I have no interest in these. Like it just No, I, I just have no I have no, it's like, no. Why would you buy a why would you buy a crappy two inch statue? Okay, here's <laughs> in, a, a in a crappy two inch bubble. <laughs> who, who is the market for those? Like who who what guys are buying those? Are O-ring collectors buying those? No, they're just fucking throwing stuff out there to see what we'll grab at. Yeah, it, it's the people that buy everything. Yeah, it's the people yeah. that buy the tumblers and the fucking I'm surprised there's magnets and the Facebook right now, and they're like, "Oh shit, it's GI Joe!" <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's those people. That's exactly what that is. That's the market they're going for there. No, no offense to anybody in the chat. They're like, "Domes are my shit." <laughs> <laughs> They're not listening to this show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is interesting because I've never opened it. Uh, a unknown, an unknown source close to the show hooked me up with the Baroness, but I still haven't opened it. But uh, Brinkalizer saying the bike is terrible. It actually feels like a bathtub toy. I I didn't expect a lot from it, but I I expect like moving wheels and you the know wheels that kind move, of stuff. dude. And it Do steers. they? Okay. I'm looking at it. Right oh, there. it steers. Yeah, I think so. It looks like it has See, uh, steers axles in the front. Is a, for a motorcycle or an ATV, that's a integral point. Uh, that it gets a star just if it steers. So I'm not opening mine to find out, but yeah. Oh, here's KJ. <laughs> He's a completist. <laughs> hey, let's right, ask hope, KJ that hopefully what makes there, him buy a dome. I like, was going to say, ho hopefully there's a big LOL at the end of that. <laughs> He's trolling us. Oh, I, here's, him. Here's, I just have no... <laughs> Jay's saying under they're glass under rubble. glass. Unless we wear something. <laughs> yeah, some of Napoleon's penis is under glass, too. I don't know. <laughs> Napoleon's right. is, really? I know Rasputin's is. Yeah, no, Napoleon's penis is in the glass jar. Yeah. 
No, so so here's my little here's my little guilty pleasure. Uh, so they're re-releasing the rescue bots in G1 decos. So they're showing the prime, and the prime's still in his G1 deco, which I have this. It's not as it doesn't have as many paint apps as this. It's just re really like red, blue, and yellow. Um, so that seems ridiculous. But these are kind of interesting. So I have this entire set from the original Rescue Bots. These are all like one turn and it's transformed and shit. Jesus Christ, they're doing tons of dino. I didn't even look at this before I posted it. It's just like everything's a dino something or another. Because I know but, Jason just inherited some money and it's burning all Yeah, no pocket. shit. Yeah, so they like, heard about it. They told the toy company he's heard about it. Jason will buy it. <laughs> We've been watching the show. We know who his focuses are. <laughs> <laughs> but these look dope. These little, the little slag here. I, I will say this. I don't, you know, I'm not a Transformers guy. I do love this super stylized, like almost kitty geared, like, I liked when they did it with uh, Star Wars. They did like Jedi Force, you know, yeah. giant hands, giant mm -hmm. feet, really misproportioned. I really do like that aesthetic. I think they look cool. See, but, and these are so, to again, me. <laughs> God, there's <I'm> sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. But these are super dope. Like the individual ones look great. I just can't believe they're not. And and maybe they'll do a. A fucking optimist is Grimlock, you know, in the colors, but I'm gonna buy well I'm gonna buy like these again. The what? I'm just curious how like they're calling them Dinobot Snarl and uh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because you can't bot supposed to be like a Transformers line, like a subline or something? Yeah, this is the little kid show. This oh. is like the two to eight year old show. Right. My son has twin boys that are four years old, and they're big into Transformers right now. So I'm actually, like, I would love to buy these for, for my boss's kids for Christmas. So I think this would be right up their alley, because, I mean, you, you can't go wrong with a dinosaur and a Transformer in one. So yeah. I think it hits the mark for that age group. Yeah. And like I say, the ones I have, Swoop is, like, orange and white. Slag is, or uh, Snarl is blue. Um, Jesus, I want to say, uh, uh, sludge is like orange, red somewhere. So they're like kitty colors. So I really like that they're doing the gray and gold and doing some G1 styling. Um, yeah, Jay's not happy with dinos. <laughs> and he also says, imagine sitting on one yeah, of those. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Jesus. I keep fucking going too far back. Um, and then last up, uh, new Black Series figures. And I can't, I can't even remember what the hell this was. Oh, these are the pre-orders that went up. And fucking pisses me off. This uh, Rex, spoilers for the Bad Batch if you're behind on it, but uh, this Rex from the Bad Batch, this thing sold out instantly, less than a minute, because I was on this shit, and then it was, and then I got an email. You're, I was refreshing, and then it said your your items available, and I refreshed again, and it was sold out. So I really want this Rex. If anybody happens to have an extra, I did get two of the crosshairs and his or crosshair in his imperial outfit. Um, but this one was available pretty readily. Um, this fucking uh, two twelfth, fucking uh, two hundred twelfth battalion. Uh, clone Trooper still, as far as I know, isn't up for pre-order or anything like that. This is a Walgreens exclusive, and the other two were Walmart exclusives. So, 
I'm I'm kind of done with with the recolored troopers, especially in black series. But I really need this freaking Rex. <laughs> Uh, KJ is one of our most <laughs> most loyal <laughs> one of our most loyal live listeners. I think he's been on almost every live show, and we're just fucking it up for him. Sorry, KJ. <laughs> I haven't started the Bad Batch. I'm waiting until it's over so I can binge it. I'm way behind, also. Yeah, I watched one episode though. So. Oh really? Oh, it is it is really good. It, I. I guess I wouldn't say really good. It is good. You know, I'm not going to buy into the whole, oh my God, it's amazing. Um, there's there's some things I would do differently on it, but it, lots of good wink and nods. Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what KJ's... Are you talking about from Rescue Bots? Probably Bad Batch. Well, there's not really any humans in Bad Batch. Spoiler. <laughs> well, they're, all the clo- they're all clones and aliens. But um, All right, let's get into third-party figure. Here's one for Cliff, finally. Yay, Cliff. Oh, wow, they're all over the place on here. They just, this is just a Universal Monsters where, okay. So here we go, the Jada Toys. Any of these on pre-order, Cliff? No. Really? I, I'm holding up for the NECAs. Interesting. Okay. I just figured you would go with both versions. Uh, no. I mean, they're okay, but no, I mean, the NECAs are like the definitive. Oh, like, I agree. I agree. These Jadas <laughs> are... They're cool I wanna, looking, but... Let me get to... Uh, Creature? The fuck? 14-inch... Oh, add to cart. I don't need. I don't even like dolls, but a fourteen-inch fucking creature for thirty-seven bucks, I'll take it. Keep in mind, uh, your review for the for the eight-inch was like these guys are b- built really poorly. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> um, okay, so that's the one I have that I I suffer through. It, it's still nice. He looks cool. He's he's hanging on the top of my computer or on the top of my TV like this, like poking his head over. Nice. So maybe the creature already sold out. Okay, so let's go back to uh, let's do Frankenstein because that's the NECA one we have. So yeah, it does kind of look a little comical yeah, compared little, to the NECA. A little simplified, a little animated. Yeah, these, it kind of reminds me of like the best action, yeah. Which are at which are like ten bucks cheaper. They're not six inch; they're five and a half. But okay, yeah, I see your point. I'm still gonna keep my creature one in there, but um, all right. And Rock, you're the only you're the only other big horror fan. Any of this unit? Do you buy into the universal thing at all? No, I, I have to kind of narrow my focus. I'm. I mean, I'll buy some of the NECA horror stuff, but I, I even passed on the uh, Frankenstein. So just for more more eighties horror kind of yeah, nostalgia stuff. Yeah, not yeah. the classic horror. Because like I really I wanted to collect those new Migos, but they look so bad. I saw the the Planet of the Apes Doctor Zayas this weekend. And I just sold a vintage Dr. Zayas, and I'm like, I cannot believe how bad those new Mego figures are. <laughs> they are. Yeah. They're terrible. Engineer nerd, he's talking to you, bro. But the uh, price point's great, though. Yeah. I mean, they're like yeah, $30. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they're not a bad price point, but just they, there's something about them when you look at them. They're just like, I don't know, something about it just doesn't feel right. Because I really, I was going to bend the rules again with dolls, because I wanted the uh, I wanted the clothed uh, Sam from Trick or Treat, thirty two bucks. I was hmm. just like, nope, not thirty two bucks for a doll. Can't can't do it. Do you have the ultimate Sam? Yeah, 
Yeah, the ultimate. Uh, and I have the original release, the uh, clamshell from way back in the day. Because, yeah, Trick or Treat, you know, it holds a very dear thing in my heart. Thing. That's a good movie. <laughs> I just have the Toonie Terrace, Sam. I think I love it. I think it's cool. Oh, one is, I have a Jason Toonie Terror and a Sam. Those are the only two I have. So, yeah, so hitting the older comic cover stuff with the Universal, would you agree, Cliff? Do you do the comics at all? No, not like, really. Okay. Yeah, and they do kind of look comic booky. I like that. I mean, yeah, they're super cool, but, like, I mean, the Universal Monsters I hold in such high esteem. I mean, they are the classics. Um, yes. And so w when I've seen NECA's Wolfman, I've seen NECA's tease of the mummy and i've seen their frankenstein i mean i don't need another karloff frankenstein when i have that NECA one on pre-order yeah i agree i agree mm -hmm. and you know me that's we talked about how you collect mine is all the different versions yeah so um all right uh where are we out here mcfarlane oh. 66 yeah all right who's doing this this is this is the weird part of the show where i don't know what you guys are gonna do or what you're gonna not do when it comes to this kind of shit no mustache that makes me sad or at least it doesn't look like he has a mustache why do they so keep fucking this up sad. he had a mustache <laughs> yeah, exactly. just painted his it's a no it's a no-brainer just scratch it just scratch a bunch of shit into its upper lip. I don't understand why the original sculpt does not have a mustache. It's supposed to look weird. He looked weird. <laughs> maybe maybe he does. Let's see. This is... So they're doing a play get... side for them? Yes, they are. And it's uh, it's like kind of... Like, it's, simple. it's very simplified. But I don't know. I have all the Mattel ones. Like It's like, do I want to buy another set of the same characters? And what scale are these? Yeah, no Six mustache. Six inch. It, it's the Muff McFarlane. All of yeah. the, they're they're all of the multiverse. The they're oh, are they smaller? Yeah. Oh. They showed them off. They are They are six inch scale as opposed to the seven inch scale of everything yeah, else. Yeah, if they're making the Batmobile oh, for that shit, then place that on that. Oh, interesting. I'm in. Yeah. The Batmobile well, that's is what weird, you're getting. though. Here's, okay, well, let's take a look. So here's the place that... That looks. I'm definitely getting the playset. Yeah, I'm getting the playset too. Um, I'll oh, probably end up. See. I there don't know. Go. One get one with there. the guys in it. Yeah, look at how high oh, they stick up. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're not sunk into the cab. Yeah. yeah, they were always lower than the domes. Yeah. yeah. That's what made them look dope. Yeah. Oh, that have, is rough. Roger, do you have the Mattel Batmobile for their '66 line? No, I don't. Okay, so I have that with the whole everybody they released in the '66 line, so I'm probably gonna skip most of these. Are you okay? Yeah, because yeah, I already have the whole the whole yeah, set that they okay. made. See, I think I'll do a Batman. I I I normally do a Batman and a Robin, but maybe that's where I'll kind of rein it in a little bit and just so do a Batman. What's the prices on these? I'm kind of curious. Well, the so the McFarland stuff is twenty bucks at retail. Okay. It's about 25, so, 20, 26 out here. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. So the Batmobile so. probably 50 then? No, I think the Batmobile and the Batcave are going to be 30. That's what Todd really? announced that his little, yeah. They're yeah. both going to be Batcave, 30. I thought the Batcave would be a lot more than 30. Well, the Batcave is more like almost like a representation of a playset. If you look at it, it's just like two walls that fold out from the yeah, center. Yeah, and then the rest are everything. Yeah. Just and then the rest are, it. yeah. It's just kind of like little okay. standalone pieces. It's more well, like I think a, there's a picture where you can actually see it all folded up into one piece. Yeah. Uh, oh, so the box is mainly cardboard and then a couple little pieces. Yeah, like on the one, the, the very bottom one there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's just yeah, like, it's, it's all boxed. That, that's basically it. All what you're folds getting. up like that. Yeah, it just folds up into a little piece. Oh, so it's plastic then. Yeah, yeah. and then everything else is kind of statues around it, right? I mean, hey, for thirty oh, bucks here we for go. a six-inch figure, uh, playset, you can't beat that. Yeah, no, no, for sure, I'm in. Oh, yeah. Well, and they were throwing around thirty bucks, right? That's not confirmed, is it? I Todd said the, the like maybe it says here in the, in the but things. in the little video he put out, he said the, the Batmobile and the playset were going to be thirty. 
So I was just happy to be back in the game. So yeah. I, oh god, dude. That dude, I remember during the early days horror. of his walking deadline, I'm like, this fucking company is almost dead. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> what? I, why did those figures not sell? Like, I bought those for my son. Those figures they, were incredible. Th- they started to get incredible. That first series, they had really weird joints, like really yeah. weird joint locations. And, like, that first Daryl they put out is one of the ugliest action figures I've ever seen. <laughs> But I mean, some of them were really, you know, the way the organs came out of the zombies and they split apart, and the weapons and the accessories were all really cool. I mean, I have a, a Ziploc bag filled with those figures I bought for my son. Dude, I bet you those would sell because those early figures that no one wanted because they looked like crap, those are crazy high prices on the secondary market I now. I haven't even looked. Like that original Daryl Dixon, the one with the short hair before he got all the, grease, the greasy long hair. It's It's crazy. I mean, my favorite thing is the uh, Comic Con sets, the Tiger Force yeah. and Python Patrol, dude. Uh, single carded, but in a four pack, dude. You cannot go wrong with that. Let's see. First Daryl, I bought it true. Three hundred bucks, dude. That yeah. first Daryl is crazy right now. That's nuts. All right. Um, oh shit! God damn it! I was even looking at it and still hit the wrong thing. Uh, oh, not that yet. But Robo Force. So uh, uh, IRL friend, uh, Doctor John Kent, sold his uh, sold his license for uh, Robo Force to Nacelle which it sounds familiar but I don't know I don't know what else they've done um, but he's going to be releasing one more one more wave in the glios format for Robo Force so I just wanted to give him some props it, it actually goes on sale in 30 minutes um, but he's got a three week pre-order window that they allowed him to do because they actually own the license and they're just allowing them to do this last wave pre-order thing. So, <laughs> KJ Smith says, IRL friend is a focus. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the biggest focus. That should be everybody's focus, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. So, um, I have what I want from this line. Um, but if you're at all interested in Robo Force, it's going to be your last chance to get a Max Zero, and he's doing a two pack with Nazgar, and I don't remember Nazgar. Anybody a Robo Force? Nope. Guy here? No. Suction cups, little squeezy arms. No. Go to Turbo no. Man. <laughs> let's move on <laughs> fuck this shit okay that's what NASCAR <laughs> looks like little brain dude from there alright anyways but yes Turbo Man I bought the people have been mind. people have been posting around me it's real and, and, and shots of it from the store oh it so, is real I thought it was a yeah. troll right, no I'll, no I'll Oh, it's me by Funko. Really? Yeah. Why is a Funko one of those? Oh, uh, license for the classic Tiger Electronics Turbo Man. So, did they make these back in the day then? Yes, but no one oh. liked them because they looked like shit. They looked just like they do there in that picture. Yeah, they still look like shit. <laughs> and now, yeah. and now they're like crazy expensive on the secondary market because yeah. everyone nostalgic for it wants it when no one bought it originally. <laughs> like I would have bought an Arnold figure dressed as Turbo Man, but Turbo Man himself I have no interest in. But the scene where he's in the costume Yeah, I was gonna say that's really interest that's a good and take his on it. Sidekick booster. <laughs> <laughs> uh looks to be an exact reissue. Yeah, they're saying in nine ninety six, obviously. Ninety six. Thirty five dollars? Uh, Really? It's paying for the packaging. It's a 12 inch figure, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a 12 inch figure. You've got Legends up here at 6 inch. So. 
Hey, if I, I people just who want it. It's awesome. I was gonna say I just don't like the movie enough. Yeah, like I I get it. Dude, but if they did a I grew. Up... I figure I'd buy that over that fucking. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they need a they need a Arnie Sinbad maquette yeah, of them diving yeah. for yeah. the fucking figures and shit. <laughs> I only one I one saw that favorite, movie in the theater. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite Christmas movies. I saw it in is the theater, it? and the only yeah. scene I laughed at is when Phil Hartman turns to Arnold Schwarzenegger and he's like, "You can't bench press your way out of this one." <laughs> <laughs> the only part See, I thought was funny. <laughs> See, it it's the same thing for me as like cock blockers nowadays. You've seen cock blockers with John Cena. Mm -hmm. I've seen blockers with a rooster. <laughs> picture right in front of the word yeah. <laughs> yes. I just still can't get down with dudes that are this fucking yoked being regular dads like uh, I just it makes it completely unreal he was wearing khakis and a button up like that's not what you wear if you're a bodybuilder even if you have kids you wear fucking <laughs> workout tear away workout pants and tank tops and maybe that's my that's my fucking stereotyping but so does that me, ruin uh true lies for you because he's under yes the, he's yes under the guise of like a a banger yeah, it's or being whatever a, a regular joe that bench presses 900 pounds or whatever what about commando yeah. when he's in the back and he's cutting firewood and he's just wearing commando's regular... different because he was an ex Ex like a uh, black ops dude. Yeah, but he's still today. <laughs> and it's also different because it has Alyssa Milano, and I don't care how young she was, she was super cute in that movie. Still, <laughs> not as a forty-five-year-old man, as a twelve-year-old boy, she was super cute in that movie. <laughs> I love that. Uh, movie. Wow. So see. even though, because he's faking it in True Lies, it still bothers you. Uh, yes, it still bothers me because no one addresses it. Like, at least in Commando, he's a recluse living in a mountain cabin. Yeah, like, in deer. that movie, he's just an average Joe that is the size of the Hulk, you know? <laughs> so that's, and no one, no one makes fun of him or, you know, you know, no, they just make fun of him. Like, hey, fuck you. Well, but in that in that in that movie, he's just supposed to be an average Joe. So I would think you would get picked on, a or, or somebody brings it up. All right, yeah, we're getting just, a little too deep. I just checked eBay for, the, for Turbo Man. You know this Walmart one's on there for two to three hundred dollars already. The fuck is wrong with people? And the Dude, nostalgia is are they a drug? Are they saying this is the one out right now, or well, you can are they see just it. It saying... says Funko on it. It says Funko on uh, the packaging. It's two to three hundred dollars. The vintage one's like between four and nine hundred. Oh, oh yeah. So that oh Jesus Christ, that's wow. what's wrong with her. So if you thought thirty six dollars was a lot, <laughs> <laughs> the flippers, bro. It, you get in there when it's hot, dude. Right at the beginning, before. Before people that have safe searches has figured out there's a re-release, you take advantage of that, I guess. That's how you make your money. Yeah. All right, anyways. Uh, now into some actual third party or uh, fan project, fan-made projects, as I called it back in the day. Uh, Magic Square Ultra Magnus. This is a this is an instant one for me. It's a focus. Although I don't really like the gray. Too much gray here, but I'll tell you the bot mode is probably the one I like the most out of all the legends. To me, that's the right scale. Like of everything in proportion, that's the right scale. He looks like the MP3 one. Yeah, I agree or not MP3, but it was like MP21 or something. Yeah, I like have that, that one, but, but the only thing I don't like about that one is he has this weird piece that sticks in his back that doesn't make sense why it's there. The flap? Yeah. Oh, that weird yeah. Flap. Yeah, the flap. Yeah. I, let me see. Can, mine's displayed. Can I? Yeah. yeah. I, I can see too. my flap. 
I can just look at it and immediately Do you want to pull mine out? Flap. Yeah, no. it's a Transformers. No, please spot. don't pull okay. anything out, Roger. All right. <laughs> Uh, all right uh shadow warriors two pack another one for cliff we would never talk about this if you weren't on the show cliff oh, thank but you. this is one of my favorite scenes and and i might actually get this because i i do love this scene this is this is where it makes the movie feel a little bit more real even though it's probably the least realistic part of the movie so this is obviously Perfect. high on the list, right? Yeah, I'm certainly gonna try to find it. I'm not too. Uh, I will be too worried if I can't find it. It's such a small scene in the movie. You know what I mean? But I'm definitely. Yeah, it's I'm like co- a- I'm trying to collect all the all the movie figures. But this one is kind of the one set I could probably not get. But I'm still gonna try to get it. Let's see here. Oh, hey, look nice. at that! The baby splinter. Yeah, the baby splinter and then Shredder yeah. and uh, Splinter's master. Alright, sorry. My fucking... There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so I dig this. Although the heads look very, very similar. Uh, is that racist? <laughs> <laughs> Brutal! One, it's got a splinter that attaches to one of their faces, to Shredder's face. It's got a red. Oh, this one. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's dope. Lots of weapons too. Yeah, and they yeah. both you could you could put them bare chested or in the gi, either one of them. Yeah. Like it's pretty cool. I do. I like that. Oh yeah, because he has a completely different arms too for it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm convinced. That's, Hopefully, Neko do that's pre-orders on their website. I'll just order it there. Because that's yes, the please. best way to do it, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, that is the best thing Neca's ever done is be able to have that. Yeah, and this uh, KJ, yeah, baby splinter in the cage. For sure, I that's like a it. sweet accessory. Yeah, I do like that. Uh. <laughs> Just a little bit of a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, all right, man. Uh, if, if, you better, you better do a welfare check on KJ Smith because <laughs> <laughs> I'm blowing up his spot for sure. <laughs> um, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom. Uh, these have been uh, brought into a lot of prominence if you're a mystic, uh, mythic legions person so jason uh i've actually met him in real life really nice guy uh has gotten way into mythic legions and so that's really helped his launch of this six inch animal line um they did a a a panel a, a little live youtube video and he revealed uh the wave three of these so if you're an anthropomorphic is that the way you pronounce that uh fan uh lots of cool stuff coming uh so another tiger but then we're gonna get rabbits that rabbit looks awesome yeah I, i really like that dude and and even though it has nothing to do with it 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 just tickles that watership down fucking nerve in me it doesn't you know watership down or regular rabbits all that kind of shit but it just kind of tickles that that itch in me you get a sexy gorilla uh we're gonna get a jackal the raven is dope i love the fucking not samurai but uh just like a uh, a farmer a, a, a Japanese farmer hat on him. Um, oh, and this is wave four. So I like the I like the battle scar. Battle scars are always fun. So this is going to be an oversized figure. Looks good. You get another sexy gorilla, and then the lizard guy is what I'm really excited about. I'm digging him. It's got a very uh, 
very 90s Godzilla vibe, in my v- opinion. Oh, from like the 98 movie? I could see that. Yeah. Oh, or even better, the fucking Toy Story... Uh, Toy Story The Time Forgot. Has anybody ever watched that? It's a little 22-minute short with the Toy Story figures. No. Oh, my God. Okay, this is homework for everybody that hasn't seen it. It's all about uh, it's all about these battle dinos that this rich kid gets the entire collection for Christmas, but he could give a shit because he got this crazy game system. And so they turn they turn Rex into this like bio dino. They turn Rexy, which is uh, or is her name Rexy? It's the it's the Sarah Silverman dino, the Triceratops. They give her all these upgrades and shit. It is an amazing cartoon. Like, one of the best Toy Story stories told, in my opinion. So, go watch it. It's on Disney Plus if you're a subscriber. I just uh, added it to my watch list. Dude, it's a good one. It... It's amazing to feel like because he gets all the play sets and he gets the vehicles and all that kind of stuff and they all incorporated that. Uh, it, uh, it's I literally think it's called Toy Story. The time well, Cliff, you just added it, yeah, yeah, Toy Story that time forgot. So, oh, everybody's interested. Oh, hey, I'm glad my recommendations have some pull in the, in the chat. Oh, no, Jason, they don't care what you think. They just sit here for three hours with us every other week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for no reason. I just figure you guys are a lot more interesting than I am. No, that sounds uh, awesome. I'm going to watch it tonight. Yeah. I think I'm going to watch it tonight, even though I've seen it 38 times with my daughter. I think I will. And they actually made toys of it, so don't like it too much, because then you're going to hit eBay for all the toys. Uh, Let's see. uh, This one's coming from Lotus. And I must not... I must not follow Dame Chalk on anything anymore. I thought I followed him on everything because I didn't see this show up. Oh, look at the suspense as it loads. Is it going to load? Maybe it's not going to load. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> and then it reloaded. I refreshed it. Uh, so we talked about on the last show one of the few things that that uh, Lotus is still passionate about is his uh, world's smallest Transformers collection. And then a week later, this pops up uh, that they're going to be doing a fucking hound. Um, Now, this one, in my opinion, and maybe because I don't have my G1 hound out and I haven't seen it for a while, this doesn't seem as accurate as they've done in the past. Is it? Yeah, what doesn't seem accurate about it? The feet. Does he have this big of feet in the G1s? Okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't want to pass a judgment because I haven't had my G1 out in years. Um, But yeah. Uh, So, oh, what's weird is it's called Just Toys. I could have swore it was Justy Toys. So, maybe they're changing their names their name just slightly but see now this looks extremely familiar so the alt mode yeah the only difference there is the window is clear on the g1 yeah so yeah so if anybody's unfamiliar with world's smallest transformers uh, so was that about the size of a gobot no no yeah I would say I would say three like, quarters to a half inch smaller than a GoBot even. Oh, okay. This looks I like mean, Hot they're... Wheels. Yeah. Yeah, they're both the size yeah. of a Hot Wheel. Yeah. And wow. uh, 
And the the amazing thing about these, both the Takara and most of the third par party uh, offshoots of them, the transformation is exact to G1. And that just shows you how uncomplicated G1 was, that you can shrink it down to, you know, a Hot Wheel and still maintain that integrity. So... <laughs> So, Alias <laughs> Angel Alien. What was it, Cliff? It is Toy Story that, that time, time forgot. forgot. Yeah. So, it's meant to be read all in one, but but it, they call all those... Ha and it, to that point, if you've never seen Toy Story, what is it? And for you, Cliff, there's a horror one that they put out for Halloween. So that was their Christmas special, and then they put out a Halloween special that was uh, called Toy Story Horror something or another. Can you Google that for me? Yeah, I'm, pulling, I'm looking on Disney+. Plus. Okay. Okay. And I, I agree with you, Brinkalizer. This looks small. This looks quite a bit bigger for a WST but, Toy Story of Terror. Yeah, Toy Story. That's a good one, too. It, if you're a Toy Story fan, again, another 22-minute one. And it, it, that one's even better for toy collectors, almost. Because I won't give anything away, but there's a huge nod to toy collecting in that one. So watch them both in a row, Cliff. Uh, and everybody it's a bunch else. of is it a bunch of fat guys arguing in the aisle of Target over experience? <laughs> <laughs> over Curb Pokemon stomping Paris. each other. <laughs> you said you had this in the back. I got the DPI report. <laughs> I got Charizard. I got Charizard. <laughs> Dude, there's signs in my Target now. It's like limit one of each type per person. So like, if I wanted to buy two Marvel Legends, is that not cool? Like, well, and and. There's a couple of my targets that have had those signs up for ages, and they don't adhere to them. And if you go through, you check it. How are they going to be yeah. able to tell? You know. So I was like, what if I want to buy two Marvel Legends from the same wave? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I think they're. I think. I think what they train their cashiers on are for identical. For items. doubles. Yeah. Like if you're trying to buy eight Bloods or something like that, you know. Which is easy to do now. That's why yeah. I bring the kids, yeah. man. That's why I bring my niece to Matthew. <laughs> Dude, when I used to extreme coupon, I would I would bring Miss McFavorite with us, and, and she'd be so pissed. It it would take us an hour and a half to shop. Then I'd have to divvy up all the physical coupons and be like, okay, this is your order, you know, and all this shit. I. I'm glad I'm kind of done with that phase of my life. But no, nah, they try to, they try to limit anything. I got two kids that'll gladly take one of my other credit cards. <laughs> I do it with I do it with fucking little Miss McFavorite. Fucking, I'll give her a coupon and say you order this, and here's the ten dollars that they'll ask for, and then I'll order a different thing behind her with the coupon. <laughs> Um, all right, Planet X, which is uh, for the most part been dedicated for the to the War for Cybertron stuff. I I can't remember any other releases. Maybe Brinkalizer can school us on this, but any other releases outside of War for Cybertron? Uh, but they're doing an IDW Grimlock, which is kind of dope if you like the look. I I don't really like. The IDW kind of comic-y look. It looks animated. Yeah, well, and that's what it... I mean, it's from a comic book. Yeah, but not the eyes look like, like it's a cartoon. Yeah, well, I mean, picture a comic book. You draw them very animated, right? You're not just going to have kind of dead eyes. You're going to have them have an expression. But... Uh. Yeah... Even being a Dinobot collector, I I don't think I can rock the. Well, it it depends. I I'd be interested in the price point. Maybe a hundred bucks, I might do. And Planet oh, X is. Uh, here we go. Okay, yeah, that's very stylized, but. 
No? Not digging it? I'm out. <laughs> no third party for this, dude. Yeah, I'll take my MP. <laughs> Alright. Um, store report? Store, store report. Uh, store report. Uh, Battlefield Warriors 2 pack. So this is the uh, this is the Battle Cat Battle Damage Battle Cat. Oh, wow. and, got yeah. And we got a we've got a looks to be these pictures aren't the grace, greatest, but it looks to be a vac metalized, yeah. battle damaged, battle armor he man. I like the little dragons. I don't know what the fuck they're from. They're from filmation. They're something. They're called like they have a name. They're like little demons or something. Like I, saw, oh, I read an article. They? Yeah. Okay. That box See, must be pretty big. Fuck yeah, dude! Think about the the yeah. panthro or the battle cat box. Yeah, that's, that's going to that be massive. Be big. So good luck selling. Good luck sh shipping that scalpers. That's going to be twenty five dollars <laughs> yeah. shipping. Fucking eighty five dollars shipping cost. Let's do that, right? Well, and so the so it's also got uh, like gray skull rocks here. That's kind of my draw, is a oh, little bit, stand. but. Yeah, but no, you're right. Like, how about that? How about let's just make everything in oversized boxes, <laughs> so it's hard to scalp them. I think I'm getting uh, this. Are you? And it yeah. looks like the uh, the battle cat armor looks to have like a metallic shine to it, like a glossy. The only part of that I want is the base. Me too. That's kind of where I'm coming from. And I, some is, swept hair. Sell the other parts. I was going to say, other people have said it's the windswept hair, both in the new version and a vintage head version of the windswept hair. But other people have said, how is He-Man or Battle Cat going to be damaged? Because they're too badass to be damaged. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's right, Brinklet. Thank you. They also did a Star Saber. Um, Alright. Uh, Walmart clearancing exclusive. So, if anybody's out there cheap like me, and you probably didn't give a shit when they were originally released, but maybe now you'll jump on them. The Carbonized Jet Trooper. That one I really thought about, but I'm like... What do I need with a pearlescent jet trooper? Uh, carbonized Imperial Death Trooper. So this is the uh, three and three quarter or four inch carbonized remnant storm trooper. Hopefully, maybe somebody would want that. TVC Lando Calrissian. Those clearanced in my area a year ago, but six bucks this amandala actually i'm kind of curious about that i would probably jump on this for five bucks if it's still available oh yeah 18.99 now so this has got to be sold by somebody else yep quest toys so don't think that interests anybody on the show so let's move on all right here we go Here's the big talking point, right? Rock yep. Rock was the first person I ever saw post about this. Um, well, I got that from uh, Chris McLeod. Oh, from okay. Full so Force. shout out from Full Force. Yeah. Diagnostic they, 90. Did you? Okay. So um, before we get on, here here's a list of stores that will be available. I've never seen a Macy's backstage. Does anyone have one of those? Like, we have a no. Nordstrom rack, which is like the clearance for Nordstrom, but I've never seen a Macy's backstage. But anyways. So they're dollar to get, store, basically. Yeah. Um, so now one of the bitches I've heard is that the figures don't fit on these bikes. 
<laughs> like you can tell snake eyes can't that yeah, well, snake no eyes Cobra can't Commander hold those fang. the fang is probably the one i think looks mm -hmm. like it might be able to fit um but like even storm shadow and the other thing i've seen about the storm shadow with people that have him in hand he is definitely gray he look this isn't just photoshop he is gray he's not white um it's four fucking dollars yeah four dollars. exactly that's how i that. am that's what i'm like i just want to build these fucking bitches you'll i don't care if they about, fit you want there. you'll buy those stupid dome fucking things but you'll <laughs> for four dollars get the fuck out of here exactly. so now we get into some more integrity shit though the fucking snow cat looks amazing but so here's the awe striker <laughs> Looks which looks like a jeep <laughs> yeah here's here's what would be the fang right but it's a drone you know this looks like the not the fang uh what's claw. the glider the claw, the claw. Yeah. yeah so this to me looked like the claw originally i'm like oh it's a drone sky striker looks good but there's the raven does that which look like the ra striker yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Ten dollars, um, probably for two vehicles. No, two I, I know, yeah. but hey, based on the discussion, what are you buying? Are you going to buy box. something you're going to build and throw away? Oh, that box, that's a good point. Lego. Oh no, I'm buying the Lego. I won't display these. I'm going to build these. So, but yeah. So that looks like a fucking Ostriker. Why didn't they make the Ostriker? It look like an Ostriker? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, and the there you go. Yeah, this is a, this yeah. is looking dope. But again, look at look at here. So this this is only this big. That's how big that. No. Not not. Yeah, front you to back. I mean, look at those. Really? No, that's what people are bitching about. This is four Lego pegs right here. So oh, this yeah. thing is yeah, only no 20. Right? Yeah, this thing's only 20 Lego pegs long. And, and so. with four minifigures for $10, right? Well, I think this is probably like a, a $20 one, maybe. I don't Holy know. Holy shit, let me it's, take a second mortgage out. Yeah, no it, well, like, exactly. <laughs> it's worth it for the figures alone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I know, when, know. I, when you go to when you go to Comic Con, there's always people selling knockoff Legos, and they charge like five dollars a figure for the knockoffs. So to me, and the those figures things, alone are worth the money. And if you ever see those booths, and you're like, "Oh my God, they made that in Lego!" Like it's all Chinese knockoff, yeah. yep. and they're all available on AliExpress for a dollar fifty free yeah. shipping. Yeah, yep. yeah. So don't. I just bypass those nowadays. I used to get all into them and buy like ten of them for fifty bucks, and I'm like, yeah. Now I just do AliExpress, but tomahawk. Yeah, mean dog. Fuck yeah. But the look, the tomahawk weird choice. Yeah, the meat. Yeah, it's, it's the one that's like way out there with the rest yeah. of them. It's like classic and, shows, and then the vehicles no one remembers. <laughs> and who? So it it looked like it's dial tone. Is that no wild no, card? Hard, is that it's wild card repeater and hardball? Uh, it's hardball. Oh, hardball! No, that, that's why. Yeah, it says oh, hardball, hardball the middle in yeah. the middle. So who's yeah. the last guy then? It says Duke. Duke. Is that? Duke, really? Huh. I I like that this one the the tomahawk has lifeline. That's dope. Roadblock and, and roadblock. Yeah, and lift ticket. So yeah, now we're just back to this shit. Yeah, I, so. I hope to find these because these would be perfect gifts for toys for tots. So I would love like if ah, I, go, I go to the Christmas tree like store. That. If I see these, I'll scoop them all up. I'm fucking in. Take my money. Oh, me too. Me too. But I'm going to build them all. I'm not going to leave them in boxes. And and I guess to the point of what are you collecting and why are you collecting, I won't get this. The mean dog. Why? Because I don't know who any of these people are. You don't know who Hardball is? Hardball is from the fucking street. No. Hardball no, is the guy is... that came with the big yeah, grenade he had launcher like, like the... Predator. 
Yeah, yeah, he was modeled after the guy from Predator. Yeah. I mean, I and and I guess here's my point is I recognize him. I obviously know. I I've seen his figure and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know who the fuck he is. He was like hardly ever used in the the comic book. He was like was he. He was he in the job. Dick cartoons? The DIC no, he never cartoons? Did. No, he, no, he, he appeared never to be like the replacement for Big Lob. Like he came out at the same time as like yeah. Falcon and Jinx. So it's like Big Lob was in the movie. He was like a basketball themed guy. He's like an 88 or an 89, Joe? Yeah, he's. He, I think he yeah, came out the same year as like be. Flint. Or not Flint, but uh, Falcon. I think. I, as yeah. I remember. No, he was in the same... No, he was after because he came out with Lightfoot and all those other guys. Okay, Charbroil and, Charbroil and all those guys that he was in that line. Yeah, I had him. I know Brinkalizer. I just wanted to say Dick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm excited for these, and and I've gone out of my way to stop at multiple Tuesday mornings on my regular run, and haven't seen shit. So. I'm going to start doing dollar stores now. <laughs> um, GameStop. So, okay, Rock, this reminded me of you. Oh, Not, <laughs> <laughs> just because you're the only person I know that buys helmets. So would you buy this? And wear it. And be okay with yourself afterwards. <laughs> no, you don't have to wear it. <laughs> no, but you no, but you know what? You know who this is for? The guy who has a detail full of transformers, and you put that on top of the detail full of costume. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not so gonna he, shit on it. I, I think like Lotus is always he, he's always a, it, it's like what do you uh, mean? They cast that from uh, Lotus's face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you people that haven't met Lotus, this is exactly what he looks like. <laughs> yeah, that would be perfect. Then he can like put his cam on and shit. He put that on. Dude, he wouldn't even post a picture of his Jeffries in the group. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm surprised that I have seen his tats. Like, his tats seem like to be like, like, oh, he's slipping. He showed his tats in the pictures because he has full sleeves. I know he seems very nerdy You'd never and would not have that. full sleep. Yeah, You'd never but he's a car that. dude. You know, he's a low rider. He's a car dude. But yes, he seems too nerdy to have Thank full sleep. I think you've revealed too much, Slick. We got to stop oh, talking. Oh, oh, oh yeah. sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> here's the inside of it, which Good is kind of cool. Um, I assume so. I assume this is on the level with all the other helmets. With yeah, yeah it's got batteries. Up. I mean, maybe cosplayers could use that as like a base for a costume. Like now you got the head, and you build some yeah. funky body on it or something. Hell yeah! Uh, voice phrases and sounds light up eyes. It's. <laughs> I, I literally think I want to buy this to be the kickoff of my toy review show. Like, you'll never see my face, even though you see my face on the podcast all the time. But I want to be a Bobby Skull face, but I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a, a, a slick Megatron face, is what you're going to call me. <laughs> but, all right, so no on that rock. Yeah, it's a easy pass. Easy pass, nice. I like to see. I like to hear that. Um, all right, online. God, we're oh, we're not doing too bad. We're only yeah, we're, two we're pretty on track in. today. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Hot Toys put up a bunch of fucking pre-orders and some expensive ones too, as as it looks like it. So we uh, let's just do different tabs for each one of these. Uh, we get the Mandalorian unmasked. So, what's his name? Pablo Pascal? Is that right? Uh, Pedro Pascal. Pedro P Pascal. Prince uh, oh, Oberyn it. of Dorne. <laughs> um, so you get, is, is he the... He's not the. Is he the viper that got his head yes. crushed? Yes. Oh shit! I had to get. I guess because he he's 
he was skinnier, right? He he seems thicker in the Mandalorian that well, I didn't put he's that He's wearing together. armor, but yeah, I mean it's the same guy. Like oh, crazy. I'm talking. Let's talk about a character on Game of Thrones whose death fucking shook me for like 18 minutes. Oh, dude, <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, I I see it in 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 my sleep still dude I mean, that was by the face and just squishes it oh my yeah, he was yeah, so close no, to, he was spoiler. almost gonna yeah win. dude like <laughs> quit goofing off you fuckhead you know but okay <laughs> oh my god i was <laughs> spoiler, traumatized spoilers. for fucking months yeah yeah sorry that was a huge spoiler because he was such but... a badass like... yes yeah Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. So we get him in his full best car armor here. You get the dark saber, which is dope. Uh, the spear. Where did the spear come from? What came from was... um, that when he went and fought Michael Bean on the Ahsoka episode. Remember? Yeah. He oh that one? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Ahsoka yeah. ends up like fucking that chick up and shit. Yeah, and that's how he yeah. got the best car. She she gave it to him to kill Ahsoka, and then he's like, "Yeah, fuck you. I'm just gonna take this." <laughs> <laughs> so here we're getting a different uh, the difference between a previous release and this one so a little bit dirtier helmet looks like it looks like he's just a little dirtier all together but oh yeah torn cape back there and some added right, value right. getting Grogu as well yeah oh yeah I did you gotta fuck it. You gotta get some Grogu action. And then what's this one? Is this their exclusive version? Yeah, it's the deluxe one, they say. Yeah, it has all the battle armor for um, Boba Fett. Oh, interesting. Nice oh, the little pat. Oh, yeah. that's dope. What do you, uh, yeah, he has all the battle armor from. Wow, 375. See, I, 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 yeah, dude. Dude, these used to be hot toys. I can remember hot toys under two hundred. Now, granted, I've never they're not a hot toys under two hundred, man. Yeah, really? yeah, Rose. Canadian yeah. dollar difference. Let's say two fifty. Oh yeah, I have an eighty nine Batman, four hundred. Oh okay, that's aftermarket. A Jack Nick- that, No, that's from Sideshow's no, website. Yeah, dude. No, no sir, no yeah. sir. My incredible <laughs> Hulk, <laughs> incredible Hulk. That was a Hot Toys. It was almost six hundred dollars. <laughs> All right, so Both we like need we just need shipping to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need somebody to back me up. Hot Toys were under two hundred U.S. at some point. I know they were. Maybe when they very... did Stormtroopers and stuff, they were probably a hundred bucks. The GI Joe line was probably under two hundred bucks. But yeah, that see that's what else, I'm thinking. Ten years ago, yeah. yeah. But the but the eighty nine Batman was early on, wasn't it? I I'm pretty sure it was early on. But anyways, I. I don't really care too much, so we won't go. <laughs> I I will concede to you, bat ass. <laughs> you are the the bat baddest ass of all. <laughs> Maybe the sweatiest ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but I did want to see what the swoop bike went for, because if people don't know where the swoop bike comes from, that's Shadows of the Empire. Yes, it is. And you can buy it at toy shows for five dollars for the comes three with the swoop rider. Version. That's pretty yeah. badass. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's an amazing fucking thing. Two eighty five. Yeah, dude. For just the bike and a Grogu. <laughs> Let's see what this Grogu Fuck. looks like. Are you sure the Grogu is uh, just there for scale? No, no, it's that. Wait. Oh, yeah. no, this is. I'm looking at the full size. But no, it comes with the Grogu. Uh, here we go. Here's a. So he's articulated at least. Oh, okay. We saw that his head moves. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, because he was all excited on the bike. That's right. I wonder if we'll make the two biker scouts that are beating the shit out of him in the bag. They already did. They've all, they they yeah. already did. Yeah, did Hot Toys already. Yeah, because they're on the regular. Because Hot Toys had already made a uh, Return of the Jedi speeder bike, so it wasn't oh. much for them to release one of the biker scouts. 
I, I love Star Wars. I'm so glad I don't have any of these because I could see <laughs> how you could just spend a fortune on them. But wow. where would you put them? Like twelve, you know that that fucking swoop. I that's not gonna fit in a detolf. That's probably fifty. That's a well, fucking here. coffee table, man. <laughs> Billy bookcase. I guess there was dimension, so let's see. Oh, I already have the tab up because it opens in a new tab. And you, and uh, you can't even get detolf. There's not an IKEA with a detolf. They, they've had a container <laughs> ship that's been stuck with their furniture for the longest time. <laughs> oh no, shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah, like fifty-nine IKEA, centimeters. What's what's that in uh, inches, badass? I don't know why they do oh, God. I mean, you it's two, feet it's two and aren't you aren't you metric in Canada? Yeah. Thirty, 30 centimeters is twelve inches. So this bike is twenty four inches long. That's insane. Damn. It's two feet, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's okay. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Or it's oh, six feet oh long. Oh my today. god. KJ, <laughs> Mando number three for Ooh. KJ. You want to Brutal. insult people who buy Mando hot toys? Uh, yeah, like, exactly. Want to shit all over him for Stupid. that too? <laughs> <laughs> and he's also in on the swoop bike. <laughs> hey, no, I got a lot of fun memories of that swoop. Slick says they're dolls. <laughs> oh right, the dolls. Uh, I agree with. I st <laughs> I'm still. My Rex got postponed. My one Hot Toys is postponed till September. So I, I'm still waiting for to pass full judgment on those dolls. But I still have to do my pre-order for the Forever Batman. Oh, nice. You get Robin too. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a Valkyamor and. Oh yeah, we talked about this. This is yeah. the non nipple, right? Yeah, it was so, uh, so George nice. Clooney. George Clooney was the nipples. Yeah, no, Val Kilmer had nipples, but that yeah. suit got destroyed oh, by the Riddler, and the suit he wears in the end is the sonar suit. Or Which this is the one the figure they made is the sonar yeah, suit. Yeah, so it doesn't have nipples uh, on the sonar suit. Yeah. Oh, were all the bat suits destroyed, Alfred? All except for the one with the sonar modification, sir. But you haven't tested it yet. Tonight's a good night. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad it doesn't have nipples. I, the nipples uh, never bothered me. Like I was just like, whatever. Like, oh yeah, I I think growing up with toys, you know, I don't think I ever worried about nipples. Don't yeah. don't He Man figures have nipples on yes, them? Yes, they sure do. Yeah, but Barbies didn't have nipples. Well, Damn Barbies it. Barbies bodies are like are like specifically weirdly uh, scaled. <laughs> So that they don't look weird with clothes on them. Like the toys that made us described it. That's why Bar Barbie is not shaped like that so that she looks so that girls be thin. She's shaped like that so that when you put actual soft goods on her, she doesn't look fat. Ah, interesting. They talk about it on the toys that made us. It was fascinating. All, all I remember from that show is that naked chair doll. In the background? <laughs> yeah, from the, from the old CEO. That's all I remember from the Barbie segment. Of <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let's see. Sticking with uh, high end, and this is actually third party, not high end. Um, although $180 is definitely not cheap. This is from uh, Mechanical Alliance. So, O2 means, I assume, it's their second figure. See, this is one of those, if I had all the money in the world. Oh, this obviously is their first one. It was the, the Starscream. Uh, Starscream, Ramjet, whatever you want to fucking call them. Um... Oh yeah, here's all kinds of scale pictures. So I love this sound wave. Does he have an alt mode? No, not that they're showing. Well, that's weak he's, if they don't transform. He's got to have an alt mode. Because I know Deluxe, which is a licensed version, made this star screen or made this. Soundwave, and I think they also made the Starscream or Ramjet, whatever you want to call them. But 
What about the arrows on the side there under the pictures? So that uh, nothing. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. No. Lame. If there's more pictures, they they light up when you roll over them. But right. oh, it, this is this is one of the things this show lacks. Let me read the description. That might help. <laughs> uh, stands over in robot mode, so that kind of suggests there's another mode. Add this that to your collection. Hound figure. Yeah, they call it Hound for whatever reason, but uh, sold. Made of plastic and die cast. Yeah. Doesn't it doesn't say bad. it transforms. Maybe yeah. is a third-party company really trying to compete with a licensed third-party company that has already been shown? Like those deluxe figures, people love them. I think even Jay posted in the group about the Bumblebee. I think he's got the Bumblebee deluxe one. Oh, did. I may have just missed this, or we all missed this. It says alt mode cassette player. Wow. So that'll be curious. Um, this shit is pre-ordered for me. I, I normally... So they've already done... An, or they already announced an RC. But I was like, oh, who would give a fuck about that? I think the entire show was like, uh, whatever. But Nightbird... Nightbird's a focus... So, I've got this pre-ordered. That's what she turns into. A little, a little super deformed RC. But, yeah. Huh. See, RC, I was like, blah. Nightbird, I'm like, fuck yeah! Even though this little sword is ridiculous. <laughs> like, really? You can't give her a fucking... I, and I think that's the only thing. Yeah, that little tiny dagger sword. But I'm in on it. Um, something I'm also in on: Shattered Glass Gold Bug. Anybody care about Shattered Glass? Nope. Cliff, I know you don't even know what it is. Yes, Badass. I do. <laughs> oh, you know what? From the show, you know what Shattered Glass yeah, is. Yeah, the good guys are bad guys, and the bad guys are good guys. Yeah, exactly. It's a way to but repaint no. original molds and get yeah. much money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The guys in charge on stuff. and charge ten dollars extra for an exclusive cover to a fifty-nine cent comic, but yep, all in. This packaging looks amazing. I love it. I don't like that they've gone pink and purple. I think. I think red and purple would have been good but whatever I'm also ordering the comics the original uh, uh, mass release of the comics so I'll have the variant covers and the comics and the figures alright so this one's kicking the pants um, <laughs> in, a, in a good way I don't know how you want to look at this, but um, anybody give a shit about these Power of the Force uh, recards? I think they're super awesome. I'm still not interested. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't I, believe they use those still... shitty cards and then put different <laughs> figures in it. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I've heard somebody say. Somebody say if they did it with a long saber, I would have I would have bought five of them or something ridiculous. But why didn't they but... use the Luke with a jacked fucking chest? And shit? Yeah, you got to put Luke. In well, like... but that's that's the point of this line, right? It's just a recard. You yeah, know? all right. Well, it's they're not going to make custom molds for this. There's bullshit. two things I'm thinking. One is this just to get the figure back out to people that maybe want to open it. I mean, I personally think it's cool. I don't collect the Black Series. But there is nostalgia because a lot of us got back into collecting with these figures. Oh like yeah, I bought I that shit as soon as it came in. Oh dude, I yeah. fucking love these. I just don't really need them. Yeah. I just, yeah. Yeah, I, I like it actually, but like yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna buy it. But I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's a chance for people that missed the uh, 
that other wave of re-releases when they did it on the original card backs. Now they can maybe get these figures again and open them. So just another way to get them out there. And what I'd be curious, especially with that Han, because that Han Greedo set was a peg, was a mm-hmm. shelf warmer at the shelf supporter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, shelves exactly. on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and I'm a Greedo collector, so I have that two pack. I the one I did order was the Greedo of this, and, and I'm going to keep them on card. Um, but yeah, this is still available for order two weeks later. I, I mean, it, it's targeting somebody, you know. Uh, here we go. AAA says uh, it's for people that care about the packaging, you know, if that's your Star Wars. Um, and then here's Brinkalizer. Yeah. I I agree with this too. Is is they're using that fiftieth anniversary of Lucasfilm to be a kind of a cash grab across. I mean, there's been over eighteen different releases or something like again, just hype hyperbole, just throwing that number out. Eighteen different releases. They use that fiftieth anniversary thing when they really should be saving that. For more specific releases, and these what yeah. are re-releases of the original figures? Yeah, these figures. For, the, like, these, the 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 these are the black series, and and yes, they're just re-releases. Except for Han has the photo re well, and so does Luke has the photo re- realistic head, right. Uh, but Luke already had the photorealistic head and a recent black uh, mass release of him. So, Ute new classified figures, and this one I'll have to scroll down. It's just a search for classified. But this was the uh, barbecue and ram. So who was? Who was in on these? We're talking about six-inch motorcycles. I sure wish I was. Like that. <laughs> oh, and the roadblock version one roadblock. Oh no that that one was a couple weeks before this. Oh, what? Or maybe a week yeah. before it. They haven't but done the roadblock yet. I can tell you what day I ordered it. It's on my Amazon. The roadblock one was. Yeah. I'll tell you what oh, day he went up. Why isn't this hiding or showing? Okay, there we go. But so these were the big ones, and these were Target only, right? Besides Pulse, yeah, which yeah. is in their in their partner one, yeah. And the interesting one about this is, so it was one per order, which okay, I completely get. But Target's never had a policy of that you can't order multiple orders and keep adding them. This is the first one. Before I even received the confirmation of the second order I placed for Roger, that I got a cancellation. So I ordered mine. It said, okay, great, you have an order. Then I ordered another one for you, Roger. Yeah. And I got a cancellation email. And then after that, I got the order confirmation from the second email. Brutal. But... It was canceled, obviously. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. crazy that that cancellation email came before the order confirmation of the second order. Um, so yeah, these are going to be difficult. It looks like uh, showing talking about the snake eyes here. So the snake eyes is the only one he ordered two of. So if anybody's interested, I ordered a case of those snake eyes. So they so there's six to a case, just like you, Jay. I want two of them. So, um, but I have four others to sell. Uh, I'm estimating with shipping they'll be thirty five bucks to me. So then you have to pay shipping to you, but thirty five bucks plus shipping to you. If anybody missed out on them, let me know, and I'll hold one for you. And Roadblock hit on June 4th. 
Okay. Oh, sorry. Did you ask when it hit rock? Yeah, I thought it was the same day, so I was wrong. Oh. Oh, it's the Snake Eyes? That was with the other ones, the Barbecue and uh, Breaker. Yeah, he thought all oh. of them hit the same day. Yeah, no, the Snake Eyes came earlier. But... Yeah, he was out earlier. Um, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Amazon four pack. Okay, this is the one I gotta beg and plead with people. I was fucking on there, and the page wouldn't reload. And then it did reload and it showed that it was out of stock. And this was like two minutes after they went on sale. And I'm like, okay, they're just throwing, they're just doing some some bullshit where it's not ready yet and all that kind of stuff then i switched over to facebook and people are like got mine got mine got mine i'm like what the fuck how are you getting my i switched browsers and it was available i was like oh shit okay it's just a technical issue no big deal i got it by the time i checked out it was sold out so i missed this whole fucking item and again, I'm really digging on Bad Batch. I have it brought up whenever I open a new uh, Chrome instance. It brings this up and I hit refresh just in case. But it went from temporarily out of stock to currently unavailable after a couple days. But again, spoiler, Bad Batch characters you're going to see. Um... Again, what makes this kind of crazy is they're all individually carded figures. So if they don't release more of these when they come into stock or something like that, it's it's going to be a nightmare to try to get. And and really, all I give a shit about is the Rex. But so just wanted to bitch about that and beg for anybody that might have bought two of them <laughs> even though it, if they don't release any more of these these things are going to hit a hundred bucks like easy um and then all right here we go let's get some general consensus here Fuck yeah uh, can't even can't even remember what's it heart to steel wings to sail Silver Hawks. I can't remember the theme song. It was ridiculous uh, either way. <laughs> the figure right. awesome. Cliff. No. no connection, huh? I had bluegrass figure. Nice. And he I was had, the easy one to get back in the day. And I had the guy with the tie. He had like a tie on. Oh, and he had like the cyber eye. Yeah. Oh, the the like the sergeant. The sergeant dude, right? He had yeah, like one cool. eye and the bow tie. I got, I got it. Silverhawks pulled up and yeah, bluegrass. And then the guy, the other guy I had was Jesus. Don't listen. That's just a. Oh, his name was Condor. Yeah, Condor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he sat up in the like the the main base and shit. Oh he wait, no, the... it wasn't Condor. I had Condor didn't have the tie. No. Could have sworn he had like a fucking tie on. I'm excited for the Copper Kid when oh, they do it. Oh, I had Stargazer. That's crazy how 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 much this has taken over. I mean, look at how many pictures in the top Google image searches, Super, Super Seven, Seven stuff. Yeah. But let's get into the cartoons. But I think so they're really the, cool. The the big bitch about this was the vac metal and uh yeah but the vac so this, metal would have worn off i mean fuck yeah are you talking about this dude with the yeah. tie yeah so i had okay. him in bluegrass yeah so he was like the he was like the bureaucrat the office dude um oh this is a custom i'm like they did not make his fucking his fucking squid thing. Squid thing, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I I am all about these. Um, I had the same complaints about Buzzsaw, you know. Again, because 
and and so there i didn't link to it because i didn't have time in the sh when i was doing the show notes pixel dan did an hour-long interview with brian flynn from super seven about this shit um most of your questions will be answered in like the first 15 minutes if you're just kind of curious but yes vac metal not doable and superposable action figures nowadays everything we get is kind of rubbery you know everything kind of has a give to it yeah and if you have a give it breaks vac metal so he's like it it's just not even an option he does say that they are still working on the pain apps for them and that they they are trying to make them as shiny as possible and they're dealing with iridescence and all this kind of stuff. But what they're really going to go for is a cartoon look with everything. And that's why Buzzsaw is this god-awful yellow. I really wish he was green and orange like the toy. Um, but yeah, so here we get a kind of a, uh, a, a still from the cartoon. Um, they said... Uh, wave two is ready to go it, it's been designed it's it's ready to go so long as wave one makes it but again they're doing their whole thing of they're not going to announce the next wave um, until the first waves pre-orders are done and then they're not going to announce the net the third wave until we've received the first waves pre-orders and I think that's good. I think that's a good expectation to set, right? Or yeah, would I you mean, guys want to see... Would you want to know all three waves <laughs> ahead of time before you ordered the first wave? Maybe. I don't know. Like, I, I guess I just because I don't have any skin in this game, but, I mean, it's... I mean, to, to wait till the, till the pre-order's closed to announce wave two is a little strange because what if you're like well i kind of want this but i don't want to start down this line if there's let's say for me if there's not going to be a bluegrass and then you're like well mm -hmm. they're promising two more waves you, you order wave one and then they announce wave two there's still no bluegrass uh, yeah but yeah. now i'm already locked into wave one it's weird but they, i also know that they have they released a single fucking thundercat yet <laughs> beyond beyond rehashing the other ones no yeah. they haven't See, released an original thundercat yet. that's super suspicious to me but but then again i got all, i got all my conan figures so what do i know yeah maybe that's super exactly seven needs, right maybe super seven needs all the money that they're going to get from this line to pay for the production of all the thundercat figures oh yeah <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, so Stargazer. Uh, yeah. He was the guy with the tie. Yeah. Let's see. For Jay, back metal is like his porn. <laughs> Brinkalizer's got all your porn you need. He has all this in really good shape. Um, KJ Smith's all in. I'm with you, KJ. Like, it's. I might. No, actually, I think I might go all in. Um, <laughs> that's a good point, man. If you're, if you're not posing your figures a lot, you know, um, but yeah, that it probably would be like a personal thing, like get them in a position and then back metal. Them. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like glue the joints so they don't move and then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, next wave of Thundercats should be coming in a couple weeks. So, um, yeah, I I'm all in on them right now, and I'm actually excited to. I've got the complete series on DVD. I'm actually excited to stick those in. And or are, are these on Tubi Rock? You know what? I I don't think so. This is like the one '80s toy franchise, cartoon franchise that must have just passed me by and you I have never no connection it. to I have zero oh, uh, to it this is like wow. completely foreign to me that's crazy yeah, I don't know street what, sharks I can't tell you a, yeah I can't Jason tell you a the wheel warriors it. yeah nothing street sharks was 90s though wasn't it yeah, yeah street sharks was it was oh it. I guess that's yeah. true yeah all right 
I mean, after Mask, I mean, does it really matter what else came out? It's all shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. How fucking deep did I go? I must have fucking clicked on a bunch of pictures. I just like Bluegrass because he had a guitar. <laughs> That's why I bought him. Boo. Now, oh, I yeah, do yeah, like... like guitars. That's right. Yeah, I don't like guitars, but I do like Bluegrass versus the tuning fork like gremlin looking dude like that was a cool oh no melodia oh no i'm thinking is that jim right that no melodia jim. no i think melodia was silver hawks wasn't it the chick with the crazy she was like very 80s looking but i thought she had oh, okay that was a chick that weird like Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, have been looking at Figure Realm now. I also had Molecular. Yeah, I just molecular. didn't know. I just didn't know he was a Silverhawk. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I also had Molecular. You just thought he looked cool. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Not too bad. Two and a half hours, but let's kind of wrap this up. Let's do some what we got real quick. Cliff, you got you got your stuff handy. I sure do. You ready for what we got? All right. Yeah, so I got the whole wave of, uh, they're back there, but I didn't bring them out because we don't really talk about Marvel Legends. But I got the Disney Plus Marvel Legends Legends wave. Oh, uh, nice, With, like, nice. Loki, Wanda, White Vision, uh, U.S. Agent, Falcon, Winter Soldier, Baron Zemo. Um, I got my uh, Retro. Retro Mando. So they've shipped them all to me, except for I'm still waiting on Cara Dune and uh, The Child. So, but I've gotten all the other ones so far. Um, Was that a Target? No, just uh, Amazon. Oh, okay. I got uh, the Ultimate uh, Biker Cop T1000. Nice. Be careful with his arm. Be careful. Really? Uh, I, that that could broke on me right out the box. Okay. Well, then I will be careful with his arm. Be careful with that <laughs> one. Um, I wasn't going to open him until I... I'm just going to throw him in storage anyway. <laughs> like... I got. I didn't know this existed until last week because I thought I missed on John Connor uh, because he was a San Diego Comic Con, but they made a John Connor Sarah Connor two pack. So oh, sweet! I, I just don't get the bike, which is fine. And um, the, the you want to laugh, Cliff? Jason sure. got me the San Diego Comic Con, <laughs> and as soon as I put John Connor on the bike, the fucking handle fell off, the Ugh. handle broke right off, and the foot pegs <laughs> broke off right out the box. Of course, yeah, yeah I, I I felt horrible. He he does, I was ball. like, oh, it's did you the open them up? And, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I, my buddy Shanzi, I ran, I hung out with my buddy Shanzi earlier today, and he brought me some fucking gems. He got me oh, Mantor, sectors, Mantor yeah. from sectors with still uh, antenna still intact. Wow. Nice. Um, <laughs> I got Zach. Nice. Antenna still intact, which is crazy. Zach, Zach's my boy. I love Zach. And then he got me, uh, apropos of my new tattoo coming up, he got he gave me his applause rocketeer from back in the day. Sweet. What the hell is that? This is like is one of those a, vinyl dolls. Is that dolls. a statue? It's like yeah, a shampoo like, bottle figure. Yeah, oh. yeah they, they sold them in like comic stores for like nine bucks when the movie came out. Ah, interesting. From or that video store that was in the mall. What was it? West Sun Coast. Coast. Sun Coast. Coast Video. Yeah. So I thought it was pretty cool. He just brought him over. He's like, hey, I don't want these. You want them? I'm like, fuck yeah. So Why yeah. don't you just tape it to your arm and save your money on the tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand tattoos, Rock. Once you get one, you'll understand. Yeah. No so tattoos, that. Rock? No. Not no one? tattoos. No. Wow. Wow. Too cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I they, they, they are, they are expensive. <laughs> But I, I love them. Like I said, I've been fighting the itch for about a decade, so <laughs> I finally gave in. That's it. Pretty pretty cool this week, because again, I'm saving for tattoos. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, badass. So I got my oh, and here, what the fuck? Sorry, I keep forget. You were showing things and everything. I'm like, normally I do something during this time, and I. Completely forgot. I noticed, to put your odds but I did so tell well you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> my first and only Star Wars figure. Oh, oh really? nice! Mandalorian with the child. Yeah, <laughs> dude. TVC. You've got my blood. Nice. Yes. You've got this. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, Land, Land shark. shark. I have not seen that yet. Land Shark, 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 Land Shark, Shark, Shark. And I picked up this gem. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. And I have two. Anybody needs one, I have two. Hey, we already resolved You have one, one, Roger. Right? Yeah, one. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And what? Oh, I thought it looked like you were like wrapping up, like to be like, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, let's exit out of you here. And Rock, I know you've been selling. I actually Anything? bought something. Yeah. Oh, uh, my God. Solo layout for Rock. So, <laughs> what happened Make it was rain, my, Rock. Make it rain. My dentist is right across the street from a Walmart. And I'm like, I forgot my. Uh, to bring toothpaste with me to get my my brush my teeth before my cleaning so i ran to walmart <laughs> bought some toothpaste and i'm like let me just check the toy aisle and they had the ghostbusters oh look at that toilet sleep <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah dude fear I some mean, flush unfortunately, unfortunately like there was two of them and one they were both dinged up but you know what for 13 14 dollars wherever they are i really don't care this one's yeah. pretty minty this one's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then I finally broke down. And I'm just like, you know, I've been selling so much stuff. I should treat myself. So I, I went and got an AFA Alpine. Ooh. Yeah. I, I mean, it's kind of weird. The um, I have a bunch of AFA 60s, and this one is really beat up, and I get it. I have some other AFA 60s that are really minty. Like, this one definitely deserves the grade, if not even maybe worse, but... When the, the figure raw ungraded, I got this graded for less than what a raw one goes for. So nice. I mean, but this was three yeah. fifty. I was gonna, yeah, no, and trust me, the price. So I was gonna ask when I saw the sixty because I know most. Well, I wouldn't say most of yours, but some of yours are pretty high. So I saw the bubble crush when you turned it to the oh. side. So you can see but the what, a, the what else makes it? Yeah, the, what else makes it a sixty? Okay, this one has a lot of case. issues with it. There's a lot of creases. It's wavy. Um, okay, so a wavy card will drop it's you. wavy. Okay. But it's definitely got some creases. It's got like a... Like full-on bins where some kid just like bent the top of it over to get it into a It's got a lot of creases, but I can show you... Wait, I'm going to hug it for one second. Just to show you how messed up grading is, this figure got the same exact grade, an AFA 60, and it uh -huh. is as minty as can be. Yeah, I was going to say that. Fuck it. I don't Look, see. It's so what made that one 60? And they both have the exact same grade. So AFA grading is kind of crappy in a way because this thing is, if yeah. you look at that, you, it's mint. I mean, it is because they knock off be. for the price tag, right? Don't they knock you 10 points for a price tag or something like that? I don't know, but I mean, there's nothing more. Like, I mean, I see one little spot on the edge of this card. There's a little spot That's on the crazy. edge, right? These are the same exact grade. That Alpine is pretty rough, actually. But you know what? I saw loose Alpines going for more money than the graded one. Really? So, like yeah. loose graded ones? No, no, loose, or not just... graded. Not graded Holy ones shit. selling for more than a graded one. So it's like, it's I'm almost as if grading is a total sham created by Brian's toys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and the worst part is the O ring broke in transit. I so, bet. Oh, no. That's yeah, that, so, on that graded one? Yeah, so I, I contacted uh, the seller. He's actually like my, like, Nemesis and collecting rare action figures. Oh, on that eBay. dude! He, meanwhile, <laughs> we, we can hear this story. He bought a fucking Hasbro from me for hundred and fifty-seven dollars, a Ric Flair figure. I mailed it to him. He looked at it with a goddamn jeweler's loop and told me there's three micro fractures in the bubble, and that he wanted ten percent back on the price of the figure, so he felt better about <laughs> it. So I what? gave it to him because I figured, like, 
the shipping to return it and the shipping we lose. Dude, the same yeah, the customer asking. service is just yeah. give people what they ask for, so, unfortunately. So when I contacted him about this, he goes, all right, let's put an insurance claim. I said, no, no, I go, I'm going to be fair with you. I don't want an insurance claim. He's like, you want money back? I said, no, I just give me a deal on another figure in the future. So I took the high road and basically like, I'm not going to be that guy no, and screw good. you. But just give me a deal on something else. That's all, and he's fine with that. So that's crazy. But now he's oh. kind of go with the, you know, it's going to be one of the nicer ones to add to, you know, the wall of uh, finished Dude, garden that is ones. Fucking insane! I bought my fucking complete Alpine for thirty five bucks a two years ago. Yeah, well, two years Luce, ago. Lucy's going for I think around fifty or seventy. He's got a oh, lot okay. of accessories. Well, I thought you were saying like three hundred. Are you talking about for a loose graded? Oh no no no! I paid three. I paid. Oh three I oh a, a carded. A carded non graded. Non graded goes for three to four hundred. So I got. Oh okay okay. okay. That's price. what I was misunderstanding. Yeah. I was like because those it, those acrylic cases cost me twenty to twenty five dollars each. So the way I, I look at it, saying. at least it's graded, and I think people are more accepting of the. Um, the o-ring breaking in a graded figure because it's like all right well at least it's already it's already been graded it could have been graded with the broken o-ring yeah so well yeah and that's that's the fucking problem with joe's right well so joe's the o-ring in transit and star wars the feet puncturing the bubbles right yep. or the head puncturing yep. the bubbles is the problem yeah but All you right. know what? I I, I kind of I haven't bought anything in a while, so I figured, you know what? Let me just get something. Yeah. I, mean, I sold so I much think. shit. I might as well, you know, get something for a change. <laughs> you guys see that box behind me? Yeah. Yeah. That 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 is a complete loose uh, Sherwood Forest playset from Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Not as far as you know, or have uh, you opened no, it? Already? I opened it and checked it. It's also oh, got okay. the battle wagon. <laughs> it's got the battle wagon. Um, oh, nice! And full, uh, one of the net launchers. Wow, where did Hell you get yeah. that? Uh, eBay. Uh, probably three weeks ago, I bought it. Um, oh yeah. And it's, he's also got a handful of loose Robin Hood figures in there. But so what's I'm the just... what's the price of a loose Sherwood Forest? Kind of so I got Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest with the Battle Ram and the uh, Net Launcher and like a handful of loose figures, most of them complete. I think it was two forty with shipping. Not oh, bad. Man. Nice. No. And it's all I, there. It's got the instructions too, and all the pieces are there. And how does it compare? How does it compare to uh, Ewok Village or whatever? They it is identical, it. except for Sherwood Forest has fucking leaves. Like these leaves that you just put in the tree. Molded trees. it. Oh, like complete. So if you took those leaves off, the the pieces are the exact same color. As far as like I know. That. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Have you never seen okay. the, them next to each other? Not. I've never seen them next to each other. I know that all of. Whoa, Rock, are you okay? Everything okay over there? Uh, yeah, my iPad. It's gone. Oh, rock, okay. Rock, rock. <laughs> like, are, are you having a heart attack, Rock? Should we call 911? Do you smell toast? You put your headphones back in. We can't hear yeah, you. Yeah, we can't hear you. Oh. Oh. Got it. All right. Do but no. Well, we we're not able to hear you. So if you signing off, have, uh, <laughs> it's about to die. Got it. All right, Sorry, no worries, Rock. We love you, man. Have a good one, guys. You too. Um. So yeah, I've never seen them side by side to see if like the plastic colors match. Like, so do you think you could pull off? A Sherwood Forest as an Ewok Village complete on eBay for somebody uh, that didn't know any better. I don't know. I think there's a date stamp on the Sherwood Forest. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If somebody didn't know any better, 
they were just looking at the pictures, didn't know to check the, uh, <laughs> didn't know if, uh, if, if they could do it. So it looks like, um, the Sherwood Forest, the, the trees are a little darker brown. Okay. Um, but other than that, they look, you want me to share my screen really quick or share this link? No. It's, I it's mean, it's not, not that, that big. Yeah, but... I was going to say it's not that big of a deal, <laughs> but no, I mean, I, that way I figure, cause I have all the Robin Hood figures and I did love that toy line a lot. I, when I was a kid, I still bought that because I could use it as an Ewok village for my Star Wars figures. So nice. it's kind of like two in one. I could display Star Wars on it or Robin Hood. But let's be honest, it's going to be Robin Hood because I fucking love that oh, movie. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, Brinkalizer. Just because you contribute so much, Brink, we'll, we'll do it for you. All right, go ahead. Share your screen. All yeah, right. Let's see it. Let's see how long it takes him to do that. And I will... What was I going to do? Oh, I'll add the uh, outro into the thing here. I don't know if I need to do anything for you, but let me know if I do. Uh, yeah, well, it's t I have to open my system preferences and give Google Chrome. No, oh, Jesus. Yeah. How about I just... Here, I'm just going to put the link... <laughs> I'm just going to put the link in the chat, dude. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll put myself on the hot seat here. What we got, um, I haven't really done like a thorough, uh, this was something that I got. First third party figure in a long time. The Generation Toy Monkey Man, but the Magnus version of him. Yeah, and I just, eesh, I I really like the figure. I don't like all the metallic painting, so I think I'm glad I didn't get into the whole fans toys thing, because I don't like the iridescent and all that. I think maybe just because I'm so cheap. Um, but the figure's been fun. I, I love him. Um, let's see, what else we got? Um, if anybody are Glios fans, I got my, what do they call these, um, uh, Robomaniacs or something like that. It, it, it's an 80s base, they, they made it an 80s base line, but these are obviously the creature and the Yeti. And then I have a werewolf one that I'm going to sell because they came in a three pack. They look like uh, Primal Rage. Yeah, oh, that's true. That does look like a Primal Rage one up in the house. So I do like that. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, one of the last releases from Black Major. He said he's moving away from O-Ring G.I. Joe figures. A Python Patrol Cobra Commander. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah, dude. Love is that a, this, dude. Is that a Worms Torso? It is. So so I have the worm set. Uh, so it's a master set that I'm going to be selling most of them. But uh, yeah, so the worms guys came with a Cobra Commander head, a some kind of weird, like a uh, weird pilot head and a pilot chest and then legs. So... I have a Python Patrol Worms and a Python Patrol Cobra Commander and then a Python Patrol, like, Viper Pilot or whatever you want to call them. Um, so that was kind of dope. Uh, couldn't pass this up on the Prime Day on Target. This is the toy version of Megatron on Reaction. So he was on sale for twelve fifty, then another twenty five percent off. So, you know, a little bit less than ten bucks for him. Um, what else? Uh, oh, and what a lot of people are finding, Skelligod. And yes, mine is the exact same way. The ankles are super fucking loose, so he's incredibly hard to pose. Um, not sure I like the power sword. That blade is just a little... It, it looks like the 
the power sword has an erection. Yeah. It's just a little too long for me, but... A little too long and thin. It's kind of strange. (laughs) The the proportions are really off. I'm not used to things being thin. I, my things are nice and fat, you know, so. <laughs> um, I got, uh, and none of them are here, but I got all of my Mech Fans Toys Headmasters, including one that came with this little dude. So this is a Diaclone bodysuit. But they gave him these little accessories to make it look like a fucking power loader. Oh, that's badass. And I love this, dude. I paid $30 for a Transformer, a Legends Transformer Headmaster for this free thing that comes with it. (laughs) Just because I really wanted this power loader. So, loving that. And then here's the, uh, now the hard head... I do collect hard head, so here's the hard head uh, little mech suit with them. So, love these little bitches, little Diaclone shit. Um, got this motherfucker today in the wild. He was on that, uh, he was on the uh, Skelegod end cap, so Buzzsaw, Hordak Buzzsaw. Nice. Um, these are kind of crazy these were a prime day sale so if you're familiar with the brick heads for lego these are transformer brick heads so you get uh blaster jazz and hound uh bumblebee optimus prime and kickback so those were kind of interesting uh 20 bucks for a set of three and i bought both oh and i don't think that's actually because it showed uh devastator which is right there um and i think it showed grimlock too so i i don't know what there's six different ones and i can't remember exactly what six different ones i got um let's see what else oh uh cliff already had these but i got these little bitches finally dude shipped in the original hasbro box yeah and that's it and they turned up perfect that little tiny box was fucking dead mint and so are the packages not that i give a fuck because they're gonna get opened Mandos, and then uh, maybe one of my favorite things is one of my Father's Day presents is this little clay poop, and it's <laughs> it's not a poop, it's a cinnamon roll because I love cinnamon rolls. <laughs> but uh, my daughter, it's 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 like glazed and fired in a kiln and everything so this was probably one of my favorite (laughs) it looks like one of those cookies that comes in that blue tin you ever seen that blue tin of cookies yeah oh like the butter cookie the butter cookies yeah the danish butter cookies yeah yeah it looks like one of those that's it i like that i like that she got really upset when i was like oh it's a poop and she's like no it's a cinnamon roll (laughs) it will be (laughs) all right we got five minutes before we hit three hours let's uh let's get back to the fucking show notes here oh no that's not And while we're doing that i posted a picture of the two play sets in the group Oh, in the in the, in the Facebook, Facebook group. group? Yeah. Okay. So everybody head to there. Uh, Star Wars, I was going to do a discussion about Bad Batch just because there wasn't anything else, but let's move on. Uh, movie news for Transformers. So Rise of the Beasts was officially announced. So big talk of an animated movie for next year. And it turns out animated means 3D animated. Uh, 
This is going to be June 24th next year. Oh, warning spoilers. I'm not going to go past this. Um, but they are getting the animation team from the live action, li live action Lion King to do all the animations for this. So I'm kind of on the fence. That Lion King was kind of in that uncanny valley for me, right? Where it kind of looked realistic, but not enough. Cliff, have you seen that Lion King movie? Being a movie aficionado? No, because uh, the animated Lion King is perfect, and I don't... <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, you... I mean, I, I don't need to see... I, I'll see it eventually. It'll hit Disney+. Plus. Maybe it's on there now, but... I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's on there now, but... I saw The Jungle Book, because... The Jungle Book doesn't really have any fond memories, and that was awesome. So I'm, okay. sure, I'm okay. sure Lion King is good. I just plus I heard like "Be Prepared" isn't on it, isn't in the movie. Yeah, they they make up. They have uh, a lot of new song. There's much more songs, but not all of the original songs are included. I can't uh, I can't remember if "Be Prepared" on there or not, but so. Uh, that's all. all. Right. I just don't. I don't know about these live act. These live action remakes. Of, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like it's just the same movie, and Lion King is so awesome. I don't. I never watched it. And went like, I wonder what would happen if these guys looked like real lions. Like, I, wonder, <laughs> I bet it would be better if these guys looked like real lions. <laughs> like, I was invested. You know what I mean? I just think it's weird. But eventually, I'll see it. I'm sure. Badass, you have kids, so you've seen The Lion King. Have you seen the remake of The Lion King? Fuck no. Oh my god. Oh, he's so disgruntled. Everybody's so disgruntled on here. I I liked the remake of The Lion King. It was pretty good. Again, Lion King is my favorite Disney movie of all time. So, of course, I had to watch the remake of it. And I liked it. It wasn't great. It wasn't horrible. But I liked it. Um, Alright. So that is uh, the one coming out in 2022. Uh, but then we have another one. Transformers 7. And this one gets kind of interesting in this explanation. I'm not going to go into it too much. If you're, if you're a Bayverse fan... So this is going to be a sequel to the Mumblebee movie, which, Cliff, did you ever watch the Mumblebee movie? No. God damn it. <coughs> See, you're never going to watch those Toy Story shows either. Dude, you? I like to, I've, <laughs> I've seen all four Toy Story movies. I love Toy Story. Okay, so maybe you'll watch yeah. those episodes, but not the Bumblebee movie, even though I said it's got an 80s flavor to it. But anyways. Uh, transforming robots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and John Cena, which doesn't help in my opinion. Rock would probably disagree. <laughs> um, so this is going to be a sequel to the Bumblebee movie and going to be a prequel to the Bayverse movies. Um, I don't really want to read all of this that goes into it, but the new movie will be 1994. Which I don't know when the Bay Versus hit. Two thousand and seven. Three. No, seven. Yes, that seven. that sounds right. That as soon as you said two thousand seven, it rang a bell. But so yeah, so this will be interesting. We'll 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 see what comes of this. Um, I don't know if this is a if this is a typo or. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Oh, shit. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, oh, and one more here. A reboot of the original Transformers movie with animation from Bumble. So, like, a 3D animated, but the 86 movie? I, Dude, I'd be all in. I'd be first one. Oh, no. Oh, shit. 
Podcast <laughs> over. Yeah, no shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did he do? He probably went all the way back. Yeah, he probably hit back us. on his browser. <laughs> yes, I hit the back on the wrong browser. Everybody laugh. It's I'm just so happy fun. somebody's here and it's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's Transformers Grab Bag. Uh, so Amazon somehow. I don't know how the fuck this happened because I placed an order myself through Jessica's thing. Somehow we didn't get the three orders we needed in six months for Amazon for our affiliate to stay live. So please, for fuck's sake, go to... I'm not trying to make money. I'm just trying to solidify my account with them. Go to OpenYourToys.com slash Amazon and order something. Just buy something off your fucking wish list. Do a subscribe and save something, please. Because wish I got kicked. What, do I have an OnlyFans page? I don't have a wish list. <laughs> I have a wish list of so many things, but I can't order on my own affiliate link, so... Please. Oh my God. Dude, I order everything off the app. That's why I never use it. God <laughs> damn it. Go to openyourtoys.com slash Amazon. That'll redirect you to Amazon. It probably gives you the choice. Do you want to open it up with the browser or the app? Do that for me, please. Oh Do it right be, now. I'm going to buy something I'm, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And and the whole point wasn't for me. The whole point was I got my Amazon smile a uh, statement and I had four hundred dollars in the last three months. Last three months. This is how much I buy on fucking Amazon donated to Special Olympics. So if you don't have Amazon Smile set up on your account, Cliff, you can do it on the app. I order most of my shit on the app. Go to Amazon Smile and set up a charity of your choice. They will fucking get all of that affiliate money. So, so I all my stuff goes to Special Olympics, and they got four hundred dollars in the last quarter. So, again, buy one thing from OpenYourToys.com/Amazon so we can get our account, but then set up a charity in Amazon Smile and start making all your purchases from Amazon go to something that counts. Instead right. of fucking podcasts that don't need money for their shit. <laughs> um, last up, uh, part of that G.I. Joe thing that we kicked off the show with, we're ending the show with, was a new trailer. So, did anybody watch the trailer? Badass, I assume you fucking watched it. Brutal. Brutal bad, brutal, brutal good. Bad. What? Okay. I don't understand why it's a fucking Origins movie. It has nothing to do with the origin of the fucking character they're doing. It does, though. That's They're making that point that about? Snake like, Eyes Snake is Eyes starting is now. Uh, yeah, he's starting right now. I agree. And I have nowhere to go. and Come with me to my home. <laughs> now you're a fucking ninja. Like, what the fuck is... What are you, what are you talking about? At least it had some ninja training, finally. The first teaser one was all car chases and fucking gun shooting at least this one had some ninja training and and i do like that he originally starts being trained as ninja force that does good for people so at least it's giving some fucking thing um it's fucking brutal KJ say the the visor closing is the best part. <laughs> and again, uh, he doesn't fucking talk. Yeah, well, that's a whole nother thing. So I liked all the ninja training stuff. Now again, when they started promoting this movie, it was like 70s kung fu movie. Fuck that. This is anything this is everything but a 70s kung fu movie every 70s kung fu movie happened in a village or happened on a dirt road or you know shit like that this is all it's not a 2021 ducati yeah exactly it's all car chases and and the fanciest fucking 
Shogun palaces you've ever seen and shit like that. Um, Jay says, not my Baroness. Yeah, I'm 50-50 on the Baroness. I, I kind of liked it. I think she should be European. Like, why not fucking make her European? That like it makes no sense there's no reason why she shouldn't be have a european accent you know she's called the baroness yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh there you go brinkalizer said the trailer looked pretty good for a non-gi joe movie. yeah right if you wanted to see yeah. a cool ninja movie that, that's a fucking movie i'll just let me yeah. just say what i've been saying for the past 30 years the best gi joe movie ever is the first hour of Predator. I, yes, I yeah, like that's that. True. Yeah, yeah. That's Where it's all, it's a, a military, yeah. a secret military team going into a, a, a Central American fucking yeah. jungle. Arnold battling. is Duke. Yeah. Carl Weathers is Stalker. Billy is Spirit. Um, what, you got Mac is Roadblock. You got Blaine. Uh, Jesse Ventura is Rakondo. Uh, yeah. Pancho is Flint. <laughs> and then you got uh, Shane Black as uh, I forget uh, Hawkins. He could be Grunt, but they all uh, have a GI Joe analog, uh, yeah. and they, it's a fucking awesome movie. That is the best GI Joe movie ever made. The first hour of Predator in 1987. <laughs> See, and now my my nerd dumb card comes into check here. I have not seen the Sang Chai or whatever. However, Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Uh, trailer. So about figs to say, it it's better. So it what do you guys awesome. think about that? Okay, so that one's the trailer looks a lot better than oh, Snake yeah. Eyes. Okay. Yeah, I'm still gonna see Snake Eyes. Yeah. Like it's like I know I don't. I think the trailers look like garbage. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna see it on opening weekend. I'll be there because I'm like fucking GI Joe guys. Yeah, me too. Me too. That's exactly right. If you keep giving them money, they'll keep making shitty movies. <laughs> so triple A. Uh, so I I think, and and this may not be his point, but I think the point is is Fast and Furious. Has made it to where you've ha you've got to have an insane car chase in every action movie, right? Like every action movie has to have an insane car chase. So, yeah. All right, we're we're over three hours. Granted, we had a lot of news this time. Um, <laughs> okay, we'll leave it on Jay's comment. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll say <laughs> we'll see you sooner rather than later later rather than sooner peace peace oh god damn it and because i dropped out i didn't have the outro added just end Jesus the cost just end Christ. it it's fine Jason. no yeah. no <laughs> someone worked very not someone arturo worked very hard on these outros so <laughs> Oh, and then I got to take this off. <laughs> <laughs>